I streamed the first live stream in at my new house. I do want to stream on Twitch at some point, but for now, I'm going to stream on YouTube. I haven't really bothered setting on my Twitch yet. Um, but I am going to be in the Limitless tournament today. There's a Limitless tournament going on, um, the LOS Weekly. It's an expanded tournament, and uh, we're going to be playing in it today. And uh, we're going to be trying, trying to take some dubs here, hopefully. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, pretty excited to try things out here and uh, play some post ban Trevnor here, guys. That's what we're playing. Playing a post ban Trevnor tech here. Let's see if it's uh, where is it? Post ban Trevnor. Here it is. We're gonna be playing some playing some Trevnor today. Everyone's favorite deck on the planet. Everyone's favorite deck. This is the list I'm playing here. Pretty much the idea is we use Ditto with Electrode. We Electrode to the Ditto, and then we can Ditto into the Trevnor, and then we go turn at one might watch. But the ideal play is we also go Horror House, too. So we have a lot we can do with this deck. We want to be going second, I think, with this deck, too, because we want to be able to do a turn one Horror House also. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can uh, win the tournament today. I'm pretty excited to play in this Limitless Tourney. So hopefully you guys are, too. We'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. I do have stream delay on, so I think I ac I think I accidentally um the whole beginning part I think that was that wasn't even shown in the in the video afterwards. We'll see. So I had stream delay on, so we'll see what happens. We got about one minute left until the tourney starts, which is going to be interesting. This is why I'm going to be playing. And uh, we'll see if we can win this Limitless Tourney. I'm excited to see how it does. We'll check it out. We have some people to pop into the stream first. We'll just chill out here and uh, wait for this tournament to start. See how we do. But yeah, first stream in my new house. That's pretty cool, too. Pretty cool stuff. The stream is on private. Oh, my goodness. I am dummy. I have the stream on private. No wonder nobody's in the stream, bro. It's on private. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, my God. YouTube needs to fix their stuff. Now the stream should be live. Oh, my gosh. The stream was on private, bro. I didn't even... Oh, my God, bro. What are you talking about? All right. It might have started. It is now at noon. We'll see if it started yet. I don't think it has. Still waiting here. Rip, bro. Dang it, dang it, dang it, bro. I had the stream on private the whole time. No wonder. I was like, where are y'all at? But no one was in the chat, because stream's private. Shake my head. All right, now we wait for some people to hop in. Now we wait. Bro, this is weird. Some weird stuff. Now when does it start? Has it started yet? Nobody's still in the stream. It's not on private, is it? Or is it the stream delay that I got? I don't really know what's going on here. YouTube be all kinds of weird today. YouTube is very weird. Maybe it's because I have stream delay on. I might stream Hexer Night 2, guys, by the way. I don't know if I'm going to be um, able to play in it. I don't know what I'm doing tonight just yet, but I might be able to stream the Hexer Tourney too. We'll see. All right, hopefully people are in the stream now. Everything should be set up here. Everything should be set up. We'll see how things go. Turning to be starting very soon, guys. Don't worry. I might have to get one of those things where it's like stream is starting soon type of things. That might actually have to be a thing that we have to 
we have that invested. We got a friend request. Attorney, attorney hasn't started yet, has it? Is that a friend request? Yeah, it is. The attorney hasn't started yet, though. The heck? Has it started? There's 98 players. Oh, it has started. Oh, shoot. All right. Who are we up against here? How the heck do I... I got a dashboard, derp. All right, we're up against Coochie here. Coot G, who is playing Dragapult Garboder. All right, we'll see if we can take this deck down. Not gonna lie, this could be tough. Yeah, I think he sent me a friend request, though. I think we're good, right? Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. All right, here we go. We're getting this thing started now. We're getting this thing started. So he's playing Dragapult Garboder. See if we can take that down. All right, we'll uh, send him the friend request whenever we or the match request here. We just gotta find it. Time to match. Expanded. Just make sure we got everything. Where is it? Postman trap. There it is. All right, here we go. Let's get the show on the road. See if we can win this. Here we go. Not private for me. Yeah, I had it on private at first, so that's the only problem. At first, I had it on private. <laughs> it's a bit of a mistake. I accidentally had the stream on private when I started it. So about two minutes of me talking didn't register through. But here we go. We're starting things off here with a Dragapult matchup here. Dragapult Garboder. He has enhanced hammer. He has three hammers. Oh my gosh. That's actually pretty scary. All right, we lost the coin flip rip. You gonna be in the Pokemon Team Challenge? I don't know. I don't even, I didn't really look into that. Isn't that like, don't you have to like be like with your shop or something for that? Cause like I don't have a local game shop that I can be with. All right, we'll see how things go. We do get a Wob Voltorb start, not a bad hand. Just pretty cool stuff. We'll see how things chill out. Not an ideal hand though. We have to hope this mail can get us a battle compressor. I think. So our game plan, our game plan here is we want to get a elect. We want to set up Ditto. Uh, we want to set up Electrode, and we want to set up maybe a Garboder too. Actually, no, they play Garboder. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. We'll, think, we'll see how things go. See how we do in this Limitless tournament. It's an expanded tournament, post-ban, so anything goes. Ooh, we guess for the Field Blower? Okay, that's, that's good. How much energy does he play? He plays nine energy. Does he have an energy in his hand? Ooh, he does. That's a bit of a rip. He started with Wob, too, so we can't even do Electrode. Shoot. Okay, that's Mail. We get an N. Not the ideal supporter, but I don't know. I think we just play the end. I don't like want to do anything else. This is kind of hard. You're playing Trevnor, so scummy. Yo, I know, man. How could I play Trevnor, man? I don't, I gotta be careful with my items. So he has Garboder. This might be a matchup. I don't think we can beat the Wobbuffet. Starts actually really bad because I can't do Electro Ditto, Execute. Or anything really i'm just kind of stuck so with local shops yeah i'm not with a local shop so i don't really know if i can uh if i can do that hopefully i'm sequencing this right i'm gonna go ideally we want to get rid of basic energy he plays he plays three enhanced hammer so i think we want to get rid of two energy here we could get rid of an ace trainer two i think we just dump these because we're gonna do we're gonna try to gengar mimic you next turn i'm gonna get rid of these three guys yo griffin what's going on man what else do i want to do he could. Does he have a way to win? Okay, he doesn't play any way to damage my bench. Okay, so he doesn't have. Yeah, okay, so he has no Zigzagoon. So we want to be going Gengar Mimikyu next turn, I think. I might just computer search for it. Do we need the field blower? Got float? I don't think we need. We have two blowers in this deck. We're fairly fine. Maybe we should hold actually because Parallel City. I'll get the Gengar Mimikyu here, I think, right? We're not going to do it this turn. I don't know. The Wob starts would kind of screw me over here. If he didn't start with Wob, we'd be in a better spot right now. Yeah, the Vivid Voltage hype's going to be sick. <clears throat> Literally one week away until Vivid Voltage, guys. So uh, be ready for that. It's going to be fun times. Shaman is banned. Yeah, I know. We're playing in a post ban tournament. And we're not looking good so far. We might have hit a pretty rough matchup, to be honest with you. The Wob start is just... How many Wobs does he play? 
place one wob and the man started with it. Well, I started with my wob too, I guess. So maybe it's not actually too bad. This wob start though is really screwing me over. I can't do electrode, can't do ditto, can't do shaman, can't do dedene, can't do crowbat. Or not shaman, sorry. Can't do crowbat, can't do dedene, can't do uh, can't do much. Pretty much the only, the only ability I can use is my own vibe barricade. Oh, well, Barracuda's banned because it was uh, bugged. Barracuda got banned because it was bugged. Okay. We want to hope he goes Dragapult Knockout here. I don't know if he will, though. That's the only problem. Okay, one Trash Lance gone. I'm scared of Garbotoxin, too. We just got rid of our Field Blower. Ah, uh, he's not going for it, bro. The scumbag. Ah. Okay, I think I just end him again. I mean, he's playing very smart by not going with the uh, Max Phantom. I can't do anything about that. We have to try to... Okay, there's Guzma. His hand is not very good, though. How many Gusts does he have? He's got two Guzmas. He hasn't played one yet. I'm going to bench the Voltorb then, just in case. Next turn, we got to go Guzma and Horror House, I think, and hope to go from there. I can't do much else, but he's going to get the Garbotoxin down this turn. I think we got to chalk this up as a loss, guys. I can't... I don't know. It's just not good. You know, he gets the gar he has the Garbotoxin in hand. Not much we can do. Yep, there it is. We lost, pretty much. Now we can't do any of our abilities without Field Blow or Floatstone. I mean, yeah. I, th I don't think we beat this. He just shuts off too many of my abilities to be able to do anything. Oh, that's actually really good to play that down. I have 10,000 Poké Dollar ready for Vivid Voltage. Yo, nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, I'm close to 10,000 coins, too. I mean... <sighs> we have our abilities back now, which is good. We can go Gengar still. Okay, there's Ditto. That's a good start. But our abilities are shut off. So we have to get Field Blower. Hmm. We're down one blower. I don't know if the other one's in the deck or not. So I think ideally what I want to do here is I want to ace trainer them, try to get an energy. I want to horror house them. We could do nah pale moon. If we had the option to do pale moon at any point, that would have been good. But he has an energy on this, so I think I ace trainer tried to horror house here. We have to get fuel blow. We need to get a lot next turn. It's not looking good. We didn't even get an energy. Yeah, that's that's a rip. There's no way, yeah, we didn't get energy. I think I've lost this, guys. I the ability lock is just too good. We can't can't beat the ability lock. We just can't beat ability lock. We have three energy in the deck. Do we have other field blower at least? We do have it. Hmm. Yeah, there's not much I can do. It's just the ability lock is too too big. I can't do anything. Yo, Talonite, what's going on, man? What's going on? I don't even know what to get rid of here, Battle Compressor. I guess, like, the other Battle Compressor, I can't think of anything else. I think we've lost this, though. I can't see how we're going to win this now. It's, like, too late to win. It's the ability lock, bro. Like, you can't do anything about it. We can take a hit from Dragapult, and then we can go for Poltergeist next turn, I guess. Get rid of one more Horror Energy for the Trevnor, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. We can lose a Voltor. We could Ultra Ball for Tapu Lele. Or not Lele. We can get an Electrode here. But he just always max Phantoms as Gengar. I think we've lost. I might I might just have to concede, to be honest. I can't, like, I literally can't see how I'm going to win this now. Yeah, not looking good. How many Blurs does he play? So I got one blower. Okay, so he doesn't have any blowers left. We just don't have a field blower. I can't do anything with this Garboder in play. There's just nothing I can do. I guess we could go Electro next turn with Gengar Mimikyu. Yeah, we've lost this though. 
We definitely lost. There's not much I can do. The ability lock is too good. When Voltage comes out, I don't know, man. There's a lot of decks. The first video I might be doing is on Pikachu VMAX. What is this? Oh, I'm in a tournament right now. Post-band tournament hosted by Limitless. I think. We're getting our butt kicked right now. We're, we're in round one. We're playing a post-band Trevnor deck. Um, but we're, we're losing to a Dragon Garb deck because the ability lock literally shuts off our whole deck. I'm ready to trade my Eternatus for Cole VMAXs. I'm sick of Eternatus. I don't know. Eternatus is still probably going to be decent with the with the thing. All right, so we have to draw a Field Blower or a Psychic Energy or a Supporter. Um, I, I think I just concede on it. I just can't win this. Yeah, I'm just going to scoop. That's annoying. That's annoying. All right, well, GG's to my opponent. Yeah, we did. The ability lock is just too good. He started with his only Wob in the deck. Uh, there's not much I can do about that. Not much I can do about that. Yo, Tom, what's going on, man? How you doing? How you doing? The election's a nail biter. I know. All right, yeah, GG's. Damn it, bro. That sucks. Again, he just started with Wob. Not, there's nothing I can do about that. He started with his only Wob. That is a little triggering, not gonna lie. That is a little, but he, I guess he could easily find it with Treasure, and he has four float stones, but still. It's like, bruh, this guy started with his only Wob, bro. What do you mean? All right, let's let's uh, check out what people are playing here. All right, hold on. Let me open up uh, window capture for you guys. Oh, by the way, how do you guys like the new webcam border? And I got the new nice little background here, the LED light background. Let me know what you guys think of that. It's going to be the new uh, norm now. All right, so let's go check out. All right, where the heck is it? Here we go. Um, what if I do that? There we go. Okay. Let's check out what people are playing in the Limitless Tourney today. That sucks. I'm, I'm a little upset about that. As long as we don't hit any more, um... As long as we don't hit any more, uh, thing, any more Dragon Garb decks, I guess we'll be chilling. But that's why we're gonna check to see what people are playing here. Gengar, Mimikyu, GX, Fileplume Lock, AZ combo? Nah. It's almost 1 a.m. That's that's the time zones, man. Time zones are very, very interesting. By the way, guys, if you haven't left a like on the stream yet, uh, and you're enjoying it so far, drop a like. It would be appreciated, I guess. Anyway, so. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at how what people are playing here in this tournament today. Might be a, bit, a little bit slow. Okay. Here we go. So we know Xerneas here, me and him kind of theorycrafted this deck here. This is his list that I'm playing. He's playing the exact same deck I'm playing. So I'm playing ADP. Let's see what Zekro's playing here. He's playing Stall, bro. He's playing Control. He's playing Control. Can we be Control? Pro we probably can be Control, right? If he does have a Wondrous Labyrinth, we have no way to counter that. Yeah, we maybe could be Control. So there's one guy playing Control. Yo, thank you, Darth. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I'm enjoying the new setup. Yo, someone's got Welder, Mewtwo, and Expanded. That's actually not too bad. I don't know if it's like if it can beat too much. That's not a bad deck. Suit Undertaker's playing. Oh, it's the Eggrow deck, boy. The Eggrow. See, I was going to play Senescorch this tournament because I feared Eggrow was going to be popular. Now I wish I did. The pink glow? Yeah. Well, I can change any color I want. Watch this. Ready? I can do any color. So right now I have it, I think, on uh, light or I have it on light purple, so we can go blue, we can go dark blue, we have red. Red would be like the ideal color for me because it's kind of like the whole theme of the channel, but red doesn't really code well with YouTube. We got orange, orange is kind of bad though. Green, whoa, green messes my entire webcam up. All right, green is not happening. We're just going to keep it on the purple setting here. What turn is this? I'm in the uh, LOS number six, which is an expanded tournament. Yo, Elliot, what's going on, man? How long till Shaman Ban? Uh, the end of uh, November. Dragapult or Vigapult seem good. Yeah, Dragapult's really good. We, we, I mean, we can't do much about that. I would never have known about Karkavan for your vids. Yo, glad you know about it, man. Karkavan is the place to get the codes. It's the place that sells them for the cheapest on the market. Like, anytime you're looking for codes, Karkavan will usually sell them for the cheapest. Even if it's by a couple cents, it's still going to be better 
than paying if you're especially if you're buying in bulk it's still better than paying for the regular value other place would have when you have work yo mina what's going on have you ever played victini v with kiawe and expanded no house a new house oh it's going good man i'm liking it a lot it's big got a lot of room got a cool little setup here everything is vibing All right, let's go back to checking out these decks here for the next round starts. Um, Tablemon's in the tourney. What's Tablemon playing? Oh, he's playing Nick. That was who I was just looking at, derp. All right, Kyle here. Galarian Kurt. Okay, this is... No, this is a... Uh, what the heck? Huh. Erica, each player may draw... Ooh. Yo, what the heck? Yo, is this guy playing the Secret Spice, bro? What the heck? Gengar Mimikyu with Erica, bro? That's actually busted. That's that's insane. That's insane, bro. That guy's got the sauce. Yo, someone's playing Charizard VMAX. I was thinking about that last night. I don't think it's... Oh, okay, never mind. It's not... I don't think that... Well, eh. Electro Charizard? Huh. But he, do he doesn't have N or he doesn't have Ace Trainer. This deck would be a lot better with Ace Trainer and N, though. That's for sure. That's a cool deck idea, though. Charizard. We're playing in the, uh... We're playing in the Limitless Expanded Tournament. Elliot. I have stream delay on, so... Like, I have to, I have, to have my stream delay on because I don't want to uh, have people knowing what I'm playing. Alright, yeah. In case, like, the... We, uh, to prevent stream snipers, right? That's why we have stream delay on. This guy is playing a Sableye Bat stack, but he doesn't have any... Oh, he has Dark Patch. Okay. That's actually a scary matchup for us because we're weak to dark. Another stall deck. What the heck? Oh. Oh, Zap. Oh, he's playing Zap Beast. Ooh. Zap Beast and Expanded. I mean, it's got the spice. See, I was going to play Senna Scorch Garboder, but now I wish I did play it. What's this? Necrozma? Necrozma could be a tough matchup. Any deck that plays Garb is what I don't want to see. Another Aggrow deck. I mean, we could beat Aggrow, I think, if we, as long as we get the good setup. Holy, there's a lot of Robo sub decks here. Haunchcrow. That's such a risky deck to play. I don't think Haunchcrow is good. There's a lot of decks using basic energy. I don't know. Purple's best. Yeah, yeah, purple looks nice. Yo, nice, Elliot. Nice. Okay, let's do... Oh, there is a ton of... Holy crap, there's a lot of other decks. There's too many to go through. <laughs> Jesus. Yo, this guy's got Snorlax. Hey, it's me. Let's check it out. Open Image Generator. Oh my god, it's LDF. This is his list. Yo, Tom. What up, man? Thank you for the $5 tip. I appreciate it, bro. LDF, love your videos. Keep up all the good work. Thank you, man. I do appreciate it quite a bit, my guy. Thank you, dude, for the for the bit. I appreciate it, dude. Thanks, man. I Thanks, dude. Glad you're enjoying, man. Why 2 fighting? Oh, so can, I guess you can do more damage with Charizard. All right. Let me refresh this. Is next round started? No. Okay. So we still have time to look through these deck lists. We'll play some ladder games, too, so we can test out um, the deck a little bit more and kind of get used to it more. This guy's playing Guardian. I actually thought about playing Guardian too, but I was Z Zacian might be popular, right? You never know. Well, what the heck is this? Oh, it's Snorlax. What am I saying? So the water doesn't really seem very popular, though. I don't know. Yeah, Drag Garb. I think Dragapult Garb might be one of our worst matchups. Another stall deck. Well. It's not our worst matchup, but it might be tough. What the heck is this? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, never mind. It's a beginner. It is, right? No, it's a stall deck. What the heck? Wait, what does that on Pheasant do? Yo, this guy playing the gas? Shuffle all cards, touch each... Oh, okay. Yo, this guy's got the gas, bro. <laughs> what? Yo, that's nuts. Yo, Joseph, glad you're enjoying. VMAX and Expanded post ban more power creep. Yeah, we'll see how things go. Dragapult Garboder seems to be uh, the most popular deck today, though. Yo, Mina, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by in the stream. Yo, I appreciate it, Mina. <clears throat> ADP with Double Dragon? Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Yo, Mail, how you doing? How much is the Lugia blue coin worth? I don't know, honestly. I don't know, man. Can we see the decks now? Yeah, we're gonna be looking at all. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'll, I want to see what people are playing in the tournament before we. Uh, Dalton here with a Mad Party post Shaman ban. I was considering playing this deck, but like, I'm actually glad I didn't because if Dragapult Garb's popular, I don't want to be playing. I don't want to be playing Mad Party if Dragapult Garb is really popular. Doesn't really seem like a good deck to play. What's this? Another Dragon Garb? Yeah, Dragon Garb seems really popular. That's that kind of scares me. Not gonna lie, that kind of scares me. Zorats. How do I? Is there a way to view all the other decks? Instead of just scrolling through and looking at them. Yo, thank you, Cheeseburger. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Waylord Stall. I don't know if anyone's playing that. Daniel Altavila wasn't playing Vika Volt. Oh, he was playing Vika Volt? Is he in the tournament? I think Table Mod is in the tournament. Or Corio. I mean, Aura is good, but I don't know. I lost two. They left Zero active. I house pop trade. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling I should have went with Senna Scorch Garb. I was telling you that, Savon. Nah, but the guy started with his only Wob and got Garb down before I could get Electrode off. Not much I can do. The Dragon Garb matchup seems really bad if they get a Wob start. But hey, we want to we wanna be trying out uh, the post ban Trevnor deck, which is like the BDIF and Expanded. Okay, uh, details maybe. How do I... What do I do here to see... Standings. No, that's not gonna work. How do I, bro? Meta game. There we go. That's why I had to click derp. Twenty five. Let's see. So there's nine aggro decks. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Interesting meta spread. Let's see. Is the next round started yet? Nope. All right. Let's check out all the other decks here. If it loads. So, stall. Gengar Mimikyu Cursula, the busted, busted deck. Trevnor banned? Nah, my Loktic got banned. Work is calling. Yo, appreciate it though, Mina. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. I'm in class. Yeah, I know some of you guys might be in class. Xerneas in the tournament is an auto win? Nah, nah, Javier, nah. <laughs> Are you excited for Vivid Voltage because Charizard is going to be insane if you played for Leon's and you have three in your discard? That deck might be good. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think Leon is a really good card. I, Leon, like, that third damage goes a long way. Like, Leon and, like, Pika and stuff is really good. All right, let's go back to this. Homemade Biscuit. Homemade Biscuit, I, he always plays the spicy rogue decks. Yeah, that could be busted. Well, we did lose, so we'll see who we're playing against. We're, we'll see who we're paired against next. Another stall deck. What's Jake playing? Whoa! What the... What the heck is this? Is this a Raichu deck? What the heck is this? This is... Okay, this is a stall deck, obviously. What? Yo, what the heck? How does this work? Dude, this is the weirdest stall deck I've ever seen in my life. Yo, that's actually... I got... Bro, we gotta see that in action. That is weird. That's an interesting deck. Another Dragon Garb deck. What's Rhinus playing? Another Dragon Garb deck. Alright, everyone's playing Dragon Garb. Zoro Zack Attack, what's he playing? Oh, that's that on Pheasant deck. There's actually a decent amount of control -y stall decks here, which is kind of scares me, not gonna lie. How much Dark Box is there? Is there no Dark Box? There's one Turbo Dark deck, okay. It's two Vika Volts. Okay, Daniel Altavila is playing Vika Volt. Hmm. That would've been a decent deck to play. Huh. Interesting stuff. Trevnor combo. Yeah, so you got... There's three decks. Let's see. Is Stall decks playing the same list? Let's see. His list might be similar. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's an identical deck list. 
Except he has Sound Lab. Interesting. All right. All right. So we've seen all the decks. Uh, let's uh, let's go back to the game itself. All right. Hold on. Let me uh, go into OBS here. Boop. There we go. All right. We're back to it. I guess I get some music on for you guys. Yeah, let's get some music here. Let's go to Glitch City. How many how many games do I have to lose to not make it to the next uh to the finals? That's the other thing too. Let's put on this. All right, I apologize, guys, if I blew your eardrums out. I had, like, I have, like, four different things here on my mixer on OBS, and I couldn't find where I put the music. Yo, I apologize if that was really loud. I apologize. I actually adjust my mic. Now my mic volume is going to be messed up. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. I just can't just get cut back up on chat. How long are you going to be doing this live stream? It depends. Depending on how well I do in the tournament, but if... I think if I lose like two more games, I might not make it to the to the thing to top cut. But I'll, I'll stream for a little bit longer. This might be a bit of a shorter stream, depending on how long I do, how good I do in the tournament. I still have to record today's video and stuff, but I'll, I'll stream for like an hour or so for sure. Yeah, I was thinking about Silent Lab when I was when I was putting the deck together to Saban. I was like, when I was adding all the secret rares and stuff and blinging it out, I was like, this might need Silent Lab. Yeah, you might have hit them. Yeah, Crime Rain with double colors. Yeah, he's got the uh, he's got the Mew Box deck. Sableye Control Ban. Yeah, I know there's a lot of wacky control decks in this tournament today. <laughs> this version of this deck is awesome. Yo, Supersonic, what's going on? I would have played if I didn't have class. Where were we, we going to play, Darth? I think you just missed talking about the Zard deck. Yeah, my favorite deck is your Butterfree Vancouver deck from the video. Oh, the Butterfree VMAX deck. Game of Switch Mewtwo's best card. I have Players' Cup tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Players' Cup's tomorrow. Yo, good luck to everyone who is in the Players' Cup tomorrow. Good luck. I might, yeah. My ears. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the, uh, sorry for the music thing there, guys. I had too many things on OBS. I couldn't, I couldn't find where the music was. Yo, Jindra, what's going on? What's going on? Alright, when's this next round start? Let's see, so who are we waiting on? Who are we waiting on here? We're waiting on... I don't know who we're waiting on. Can't see. Oh, yeah, I can't tell who we're waiting on, derp. We are... <laughs> we're 97th place right now because we lost, rip. There's two Mewtwo's below us. We might hit a Mewtwo here. I'm, hmm. The only deck I'm really scared of is like Ultimate Cosma. Let's see. Hmm. We'll see how things go. Have you had any luck with IRL pulls? I have not, unfortunately. I don't really play much IRL, uh, CAD. Are you gonna do a video on the new Cramorant? Oh, for sure. For sure. Oh. Got a message here on Discord for my next OPOP match. Saturday or Sunday night. Yeah, could work. When is your next video? Yeah. Does this deck have life do or shit engine? No, this is a uh, Trevnor. Here, I'll pull up the deck list for you guys so you can see it. Oh, this next round started? Yeah, it has. We're up against Speed Resolve TCG. All right, let's see what he's playing. We're up against a Radicate deck. Radicate with Slowbro. Okay. Uh, this might actually be a tough matchup because they can one-shot us. Yo, we might get cucked here. All right, we'll see how we do, guys. We're up against Radicate here. We are up against a Radicate deck. Wait, is that the same person? Nope, that's not the same guy. Yeah, I can't accept any friend requests, guys. I'm in a tournament, and I can't really... Uh, I need my friends list to be open. 
So I'm not taking any friend requests. All right, we're up against a Raticate deck. I would show you guys, but I'm too lazy to copy it. But he has Raticate. Can you revisit your little Marowak? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. We'll see if we can win. We're up against... So he's got Galarian Slowbro. He's got a 4 for Raticate. He does play Artillery, so this might be a good matchup for uh, our Garboder. I think we definitely want to get Garboder down here. Now right, we'll see how we do. Where is it at? Post Man Trevnor. All right, here we go. Yo, Savon, do you know, though, how many games we have to lose? All right. Can we beat Eradicate deck? Are we about to get cucked or what? I right, lost the coin flip. Rip. Well, I guess I, we do want to go second, right? We go for turn two Gengar. Hmm. Okay, this is a really good opening hand. This is a really good opening hand. Music of Dark Integral has copyright. I don't know. I've never used his music before. What are the best rogues? Oh, there's a lot of rogues, Francisco. We need a name. I mean, we can beat this. The only problem is he, you know, it's Raticate, right? But we have a really, oh my, this hand is insanely good. This is an insanely good hand. So, he doesn't have much. I guess he could laser me here and he could hit heads and then I don't get to do Horror House. That's like the worst case scenario. But this hand is real. This is a ridiculously good hand. So we want to get Voltorb and Ditto down and then we just want a Horror House. This hand is really good. He plays two Dark City. Okay, we'll see if we can take this down. It's not an ideal matchup for us, obviously, but we'll see how it goes. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the live stream, don't forget to leave a like down below. Two and you're out, all right. Okay, we get a bust. Oh my God, dude, this hand is so good. What the heck? Yo, this is nuts. All right, so we want a sequence bar. So we want to go compressor away an egg. Wanna get rid of egg, ace trainer, energy. I guess no, we can't no, I was gonna say we could use horror energy and eradicate, but it doesn't matter. Never mind. This hand is super good though. Great hand, yeah. Hope you win. We'll see. We'll see. Now I wish I played the Wonders Labyrinth, uh Savon. <laughs> now I wish I played Lab in here, because if we have Wonders Labyrinth here, we'd be able to um We'd be able to prevent him from being able to do uh, triple energy eradicate. So let's get Ditto. I do want both Dittos because I want to be able to go, gar go Garb next turn. We need to get another Compressor. So we might, we'll Crobat and then maybe I'll Computer Search for a Compressor. So let's drop Crobat. There we go. So we get rid of... Get rid of Energy. Get rid of two Energies. And we can get rid of a... The other Gengar, I guess. Hmm. We have the Trevnor next turn, so we might as well go for it. I do want to get a Garboder down, though. I guess we could... Hmm. Okay, we're gonna get a we're gonna get the Ditto Prism. I want to get Garboder down here. We need to get the Garb down. And then we can discard our top deck next turn, and then we can go for the. Um, we can okay okay I got this right I got this right we might have to drop the Dene here but this is good this is good so we'll float and whorehouse. All right, here we go. Big, big turn. So, we'll comp for probably another Crobat. So we need to get Trevnor. Okay, we need to go, we need to get Trevnor and we need to get Garboder here and Ace Trainer. That's not it. Well, that's Quick Ball, actually. Okay, so we can do the Electrode now. Well, can Mail get us a Garboder? Stretcher? Hmm. Dang it! If we had Garboder in the discard, we could, uh, we could have gotten, uh, thing with that. Alright, we'll take the Stretcher, I guess. 
We can always ace trainer the Garboder too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many Ultra Balls do we have left? We have... Okay, 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 okay. I got this, I got this. Uh, we'll take the... We'll take the Compressor and get that out of the deck. All right. We have a pretty good turn, so we can go... Extra Energy Bomb. We put three energy on the Ditto, and then we evolve the Ditto into... Well, not evolve, but we use Ditto's ability and then put the Trevenor down. Yo, appreciate it, Donovan. Glad you like the setup. Okay. Um... We want a quick ball here. We can probably get rid of the other electrode, right? We don't need it. No, we might need it. No, we don't need it. Because if he knocks out one Trevenor, we just lose. So we just get rid of the electrode. Just thin out the deck by one card. And we go transform into Trevnor. Look at that. See, this is how this combo works. This is why Trevnor is still OP. Okay. Um. What else? We're going to go Compressor. Get rid of Voltor. Wobbuffet. And we'll get rid of... Get rid of the other Compressor, I think. Could I get rid of Field Blower, actually, too? That wouldn't have been bad. Oh, Ace Trainer. So we want to Ace Trainer into, like, a Dedenne or a Garboder here to really guarantee the win, unless we give him a busted hand. And we got the Garb. All right, let's go. We got the setup. Insano stuff. Insane. All right, this should be about wrapped up. As long as he doesn't have... An, if he knocks out my Trevenor here, we just lose, probably. Uh, but yeah, this should be that. So we go Evolve... Retreat. Nightwatch. All right, we got the lock up. Everything was sequenced properly. We're not knocking out the Lele, though, which is a bit of an issue, but we are going to hopefully lock him out of the game. How many supporters does he play? He plays... He only has four draw supporters in his deck, and he can't play any of his abilities. Well, he does have one field blower, I guess. We gotta watch out for that. All right, sorry I wasn't really reading chat there. I was super focused, but we're all Gucci now. Yo... Could you imagine if this guy's hand was field blower and then he had the level ball for the year artillery? All right, nice. We're chilling. We actually could Guzma the Radicate, or we can knock out the Remorade. Actually, I kind of I kind of like knocking out Remorade here. Um, are we knock out his threat? Yeah, we'll knock out the Radicate. No, we'll knock out the uh, no. I think we no. We just want to knock out because if he ever gets an artillery field blower, that's gonna suck. So I think we just knock out this. Or maybe we should have knocked out Eradicate so we can't get knocked out. Oh, he had a triple in hand. Yeah, I think we just knock out his draw. I'd rather, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know what, I don't know what's a better play. We can always be a Seeker and do it next turn. It's not the end of the world. Ditto black and white. Yes, sir. All right, yes, he's in top deck mode. Eradicate. That'd be pretty good in here too, local. Okay. See, so yeah, we're just going to be a Seeker of the Radicate again, knock it out. Yeah, we just cheesed him out of the game. Who said that Trevnor was bad? Not me, that's for sure. Trevnor is still OP. Alright, we cheesed him out of the game. Pretty much. Pretty much. How many V Seekers do I have left? We have two, so we want to try to mail into a via seeker again. We might, we might get it. Oh, we have two mails to try to give you a seeker. Treacher can't do me anything, right? I gotta play a little bit faster. I don't want to take too long. Okay, we didn't get a via seeker. Rip. We're just gonna take a knockout then. The hesitation, yo, indeed. All right, if he can draw, he could, he could get a juniper here, and he could juniper into a triple energy laser. That's why I'm scared. If he plays three Professor Juniper and one N, he has a teammates too. Teammates would also get him there. Let's go. Busted Trevner. Yo, we had a god tier start though. Our start was insanely good. Yeah, we had a really good start. I feel pretty dang bad. All right, let's go. All right, cool beans. One and one. Let's go. I'm hyped.
I trade all my Trevenor? Nah. It's still good. Rodom is okay. Yeah. That matchup definitely was tough. That was a good game, though. That was a really good game. That was a really good game. All right, sorry, man. I gotta... I, if, if you're in the chat, mm -mm, I gotta deny your friend request. Because I need my list open here for the tournament. It could be good, but I mean, it's just probably better with Trevenor, right? Yo, two shot, what's going on? I guess if you play, yeah, I guess Malamar or Beetle. That'd be a weird deck, though. That'd be a weird deck. Alright, not bad. Go, oh, GG's. GG's, the cheese! But yeah, our start there was so friggin' good. That was such a good start. Like, literally everything just went super well for us that game. But that deck, that game hopefully just showed off why this deck is still really, really good. Um, post rotate, post ban. That was just an insanely good game. That was really good. You doing expanded tourneys? Yeah, I'm in a, uh... I'm in, in a, I'm in the LOS Weekly number six here. Hosted by Limitless, I think. And we're doing pretty good. We are, well, we're one and one. We took an L to drag a guard, but it's like, if they get the garb and they start with Wob, you can't do much. So we have to just avoid Dax that can lock us over our ability. Try item lock and expanded. Mm, I mean, there's Vile Plume. Prediction, the next ban list, expanded, Ace Trainer, Extra Drill, Control, Alternate Cause of Bunnelby. That could happen. I don't know if Alternate Krozma will get banned, though. I can see Excadrill getting banned, though, because it's another Ranguru. I don't think Bunnelby will get banned. It could, maybe. They might just end up banning all the Rototiller cards, and then it'll be Drill Bear Control at that point. This deck only work if you have a good start? Well, no. Where's the... Where the Black and White Dittos is pricey? Yeah, they went up recently because, um... Because of, uh, the popularity of, uh, this Trevnor deck. But yeah, Trevnor is a really good deck. What? Yo, Rapper just died. What the f- Oh my gosh. Yo, if anyone knows who King Vaughn is, he just died. You're playing an all out? Uh, I was, but I lost my first round to Shara. I was playing Sun of Scorch. I was against Spirit Tomb Spike Mouth. And I, I lost. I went two and one. Or one and two. I don't know if Silent Lab needed a ban. Double, I could see Double Dragon Energy getting banned. That is nuts, bro. How's Dust for my low tick? Oh, it's banned DK Quagmire. We're playing in a post ban tourney. We're playing Electrode Trevnor. Playing Electro Trevenor. Currently one and one. What do you think about Santa V in <laughs> standard? I think it's decent. First time catching stream, all the videos. Best luck to you today. Yo, thank you, Patrick. I don't think I do mirror reflecting. I don't know if I do. Pro for Do Trevnor. It's a basic con for Trevnor. The shuffle, yeah. What do you think about saying how's just from my limited? If you evolve Trevnor, how different is evolving Malamar V Max? That is true. Because you're still evolving from Ditto. Does post ban mean before or after? After ban. Who died? A rapper. King Vaughn died. Apparently. My friend just sent me a text of an article showing me that he died. I don't really listen to his music that much, but. I knew who he was. He was he's an up-and-coming rapper. That kind of sucks, bro. It's like every rapper's dying, bro. I swear, man. We're in rough times. I did it was pretty sick. The Soaring Storm theme deck with Dragonite? Yeah, it was good. It was good. That's actually insane, though. 
Another another rapper died. Finally built a Dreadnought VMAX deck. Yo, what kind of... In standard or expanded, Bob? How are we looking here? We are currently in... We're still... In, okay, that, the stands have not updated yet. You're playing Electro Dusnor? Yeah, with... Uh, we're using... We Electro to the Ditto, and then we use Ditto's ability to go into Trevnor. ADP Double Dragon means you can run in... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I just saw that, OW. I, like, I saw he was in critical condition before the stream. That sucks, though. Yeah, he has a joint with Polar G. Yeah, Polar G, yeah. I've heard that song. I've heard it. It's on Rap Caviar. Yeah, it sucks, man. I don't know if King Von will blow up like Pop Smoke did, but we'll see what happens. I think that Polo G song is going to probably become a hit now because of his death. I'm calling that right now. That Polo G song is going to become popular. The alternate Cosmic Guard Boater is really good. It is. I, I can definitely see them trying to tweak that. You hate all ADP decks or only ADP Zation. Really, just... I mean, I don't like ADP in general, Xavier, but... I will admit, it, ADP is fun to play with, like, random cards, but, like... I still want it to be banned. Like, there's some... There's still some cool decks you can play with ADP. Like, ADP with, um... Like, ADP Tomb was a really unique idea. And, like, even, like, ADP and Expanded with, like, a random card. Like, there's still cool archetypes, but it's, like, too good. The, your premium setup is good. I have a similar setup. Yo, nice Fernando. I'm going to hopefully be posting a uh, another uh, setup video over my Patreon in a couple of days. We'll see how it goes. How many decks run Pokemon Ranger? I think every deck probably wants to play one because of ADP's popularity. My next opponent, Tom, is Azul. Most of my decks revolve around Propagation Execute. My it's a good card. Everyone's been calling for that card to get banned, but they haven't banned it yet. I don't know if it'll ever will get banned. A troll in expanded ADP Vanellux Glimwood. Yo, that could be busted. I'm going to be uploading a, uh, a troll expanded uh, video tomorrow, so keep your eye out for that. I'm going to have another expanded video for you guys tomorrow. It's on another. It's on a troll deck, too. King Vaughn is. Yeah, he was. he's from, I think he's from Chicago. He's an up-and-coming rapper. That's insane, though. That is insane. I was seeing a bunch of memes too on TikTok on King Von recently too. That's insane. Yeah, I don't listen to rap. I listen to both like rap and pop. I'm not really like a rock guy or anything. Is that the Ditto build? Yeah, we're playing the Ditto build. Post ban. There's still a good amount of like control install decks in this tournament though, even though we are playing a post ban deck. So, if we lose another game, I won't drop, but I think if we go, if we lose three games, I'll drop. People with... Don't listen to rap, no offense. Yeah, next opponent, Madrix, is Azul. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting uh, thing for sure. I already know what decks I'm be... I'm, I already know what decks I'm bringing to the, uh, to the match. Because I'm predicting what he's playing. Only that my low tick got banned, yeah. No Ace Trainer ban or anything. I don't know if Ace Trainer needed a ban, though. That's the only thing. Like, Ace Trainer is good, but, like, is it really worth banning? At that point, you just want to... You probably should just ban Trevnor. Because you can still use Trevnor with, like, Malamar. There's still ways to make Trevnor busted. I think, overall, banning Trevnor might fix it a little bit better. My personal staples in Expandix, Oricorio, Faba, Ranger. Yeah, Oricorio and uh, Ranger are pretty good staples right now. Would you benefit from some QR cards? So you would like to show you some support too. I have a ton of QR codes. If you want War Turtle, I would appreciate it. I would appreciate the codes. The worst thing about the reprints is Maggie is Bellabba. Yeah. I don't know if Bellabba Bryce Main really needed a ban, in all honesty. I don't know if it needed a ban. Do you listen to Melly? Yeah, I listen to Melly. I like him. It's crazy that his career has been booming while he's been in jail. I find that insane. Has the next round started? No, the next round hasn't started yet. 
Yeah, we're still in round two. New room looking fresh, yo. Appreciate it, AVC. I gotta go back to school now. Good luck in your Zofa, yo. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And yeah, we'll see how things go. It'll probably be this weekend, and I will be posting the video to my channel. Unless the game is a complete... If if it's gonna be... If, if the, both games are a complete blowout, I, well, I, I think I have to post no matter what, but we'll see how things go. Eurobeat. Nice. I mean, everyone's got their own taste in music, right? I don't think there's really a... I don't honestly don't think... I don't think there's like a trash genre of music. Everyone's got their own taste in music. Personally, I just like listening to rap. Like rap and pop music. What does Ace Trainer do? Uh, if you're behind in prizes, uh, your opponent, you both players shuffle their hand in the deck. You draw six, your opponent draws three. And then you hit them with a night watch and put them to one card and hope and pray that they don't have a supporter. I might do a video on that uh, Steelix deck. I tried to build a build, I tried to build that deck last night, um, but I didn't really know what to pair it with. I was going to maybe play with like Excadrill because it makes sense. Excadrill has a four tree cost and it also is really good right now. So I don't know. Yeah, it is true. It was broken with the Ranguru. And Embellible of Rice Man could have been pretty good against Eternatus. But I guess we'll never see the day where that happens. Well, I am excited for Vivid Voltage for sure, Tushar. I am excited for Vivid Voltage. I'm confused. Why Bellabur needed a ban? I mean, it makes sense because they don't want they don't want control to be dominant, which makes sense, right? Control and mill are very, you know, they're not fun to play against. But Bella Bryson man, without a Ranguru might not have been very good. Yeah, I don't know if it needed a ban. What are, is the next round yet? Nope. These, these might be long round waits because of uh, people playing control. Yeah, I mean, well, I think Leon is going to be a really good card in... Um, I think Leon is going to be a really good card. A lot of decks could really use one Leon. Yeah, I got LED set in my room shanty, and they can go to any color I chose. I, I choose to. Right now, I got them on light purple. And change it to red. Red's like the staple LDF color. But now I look like I'm I look like I'm green. I look like a Simpson. Here we go here. That color doesn't work. It glitches out with YouTube. My webcam is glitched. Now it looks like I have a green screen. I got a green screen, bro. Look at that. Everyone always wanted the LDF green screen. Here you go. There's the LDF green screen. I do like this blue color too, but I think it glitches out. There's pink. That's decent. But we're gonna put on light purple. There we go. That's like the perfect color. That is true, DK. It's daytime right now. I have blackout curtains, but they're not like blocking out all the sun. The room looks a lot better at night though. You'll see in tomorrow's video what I'm talking about. My favorite AR? Uh, I think Jirachi's really good. Jirachi might be the best card in the set too, to be honest, Hype Piper. Why does no one use Vigavol V in standard? Because it just doesn't do enough damage. What's a good expanded budget deck? Alternate Krosma. Hi, you'll see it, Donovan. Thanks for not buying the stream, man. Good luck. Pika Volt is funny with cards like Sunbury. It, it's cool with those, but yeah, it's just, it doesn't do enough damage anymore. That's why Vika Volt just hasn't really been popping off. Control is cool in moderation. Where you see Sableye, yeah. I agree. I don't really like control at dominating. I don't like it. All right. Whoa, OBS, you're glitching out. There we go. All right. Leon and Magneton. Yeah, Ma Leon is going to be a really good card. I think Leon is going to be played in almost like any deck, honestly. Like, Eternatus can take advantage of it. Picarom with it is really good, too, because now Picarom can one-shot Crobat, and now Tag Bolt with a, with a Leon can one-shot Zacian, and Leon also lets Pika two-shot um, most VMAXs. So, Leon is just a really good card, in my opinion. Can we keep LTF green screen? Yeah, it just looks really stupid though, Donovan. It's not a problem. All right, sorry, I gotta deny your friend request, man, because I need my friends to open. Leon with Chandelure. 
There's a lot of decks you can play Leon. And the thing with Leon, because Crowbat did any exist, you could still draw cards if you just do that instead. No more junk hunter resource. Nah, that's a good thing though, DK. Man. ADP Medicham. I have that deck's too much of a meme. The problem with ADP and Expand is that everybody plays like one Pokemon Ranger. So like it doesn't work. Oh, it's a long way to the next round. Uh. Uh. How's the other Trevnar player doing? Might be doing good. So I'm in 97th. That was after round one. They haven't updated the updated scores yet. Yeah, there's a lot of control here. That's not... I don't like it, man. There's too much control. But I guess we could be control if we set up. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, the Roar and Resolve Charizard's a good budget deck, I guess, too. But it's a stage two deck at the end of the day, right, Quagmire? So... Dawn Fan and ADP. That could work. I think the new Dawn Fan is a really good card. I'm glad they're making these one energy fighting Pokemon do a lot of damage. You think Vigavolt V and Expand has potential with the new Electrode? I think it... No, it is better with Thunder Mountain Coco, Joseph. I don't think it needs... I don't think it needs that and Expand it. I would say it's gonna see moderate play. It might. The new Spirit Tomb? Yeah, it's pretty good. It can be paired with Spirit Tomb. Can I play... Can I play while you're waiting? Unfortunately, Tom, I'm not doing any games right now. I might do some ladder matches in between games, but not right now, man. I'm sorry. Leon feels so much worse for Pika than Electro Power. It does feel worse, but that 30 damage really does help out Pika quite a bit, in my opinion. Latios Donk Pulse Rotation. Pulse Ban. Yo, Latios Donk with Leon. Can you do a video on Pika Rom and Expanded? I probably won't do a video on it and Expanded, man. Is anyone actually playing Pika in the tourney? I'm actually curious to see. Is anyone playing Pika? There's one There's one Pika player. Play Eggrow? Nah, I don't like that deck. I think Vile Plume should get banned because it's, it's just a turn one item lock card. And I think it should just go. If they're going to ban, like, Trevenant stuff, you might as well just ban my Loki too. Control decks are nice challenges. They are, but they're not fun to play against. What's your favorite GX? Uh, my favorite GX? Uh, that's a tough one. I have to think about that. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom. Let me see. Okay, next round is not started. I have to go to the bathroom. I will be right back in a minute.
All right, we're back. Is it the next round yet? It is not the next round. I miss the early days of the Sun and Moon base set when every deck played one Ranger. I miss the Sun and Moon era. The Sun and Moon era was really good. Okay, um... Chair, do you want to go on my map? All right, hold on, guys. Holy... There we go. The only problem with my new house is I have a rug mat and I had to get one of these like plastic mats and it doesn't work. I got three wins, four losses. I thought I did pretty well. That's pretty decent though. Okay, why? Rip Shaman, yeah. Rip my boy Shaman. But Shaman did have to go. There's just too much draw in the format. It's just too good. It is too good. All right, next round should be starting any minute now. It's about 36 seconds left. So we'll see who we're playing as next. And if we can win. I mean, I don't know if we have to lose twice or three times, but we'll see. When your opponent mulligan twice, you never scroll their mulligans. I I keep I keep, I keep forgetting you can do that though. That's the thing. All right, next round should be starting in a minute. All right, here we go. We'll see who we're playing against next. There's a lot of control decks. That's the only thing I'm kind of scared of here is can we beat a control deck? We have to get that lock off pretty easily. How long will you be streaming? We'll see. If I make it, like, really far, we'll see how long I stream for. But the only... My main issue is... Is someone's coming over in a couple hours to, uh... Put my bed together here. Because I actually haven't made my bed yet, but... Um... I don't know how long I'll be streaming for. If I do end up going... If I lose... I think if I lose twice or three times, I can't make top cut. So then I'll just, like, drop out of the tourney. And then we'll just, like... We'll play the ladder for a bit. I'll try to stream for, like, maybe... Maybe, like, an hour or so. Yo, Madsen, what's going on? All my Legacy videos. Nice, Madsen. Nice. I'm hoping the Legacy Guide helped out enough people as it could. There definitely were some things I maybe could have done with that Legacy Guide to make it a bit better after watching it. But, like, every idea that came to my mind, like, I noted it down. And it's, like, a few days. It was a few days process of thinking of how to make that how to make that Legacy Guide work. There definitely were some things I could have added to that Legacy Guide, though, maybe to make it better. Yeah, things are going good, Ember. I switched to playing Reshiram, Charizard Tag Team with Toolbox, so like, Ninetales Baby. Dang. 2019 Worlds. Good old Mew3 winning. Yeah, it's post ban format. It is indeed post ban. We're playing Trevnor Electrode. I know I've been sitting here and just talking to you guys, um, but uh, I think if depending on how this next round goes, I'll go to the I'll go to the ladder and we'll play this deck on the ladder for a bit. Like the button to go trade thing is dark. Oh. Four rotations here, we could still want yeah, the terminal sport is good. Alright, yo, peace out, Griffin. Thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks for stopping by. Again, if you guys have been enjoying the stream, make sure you leave a like. Alright, next round is up. Togekiss 96X. What are we up against here? We're up against Tina Chomp. Ooh, alright, we'll see how this goes. They do have Noivern. <laughs> well, they have Mimikyu. Mimikyu could be a problem. Maybe not, actually, I don't know. All right, we'll see how this goes. Can we take down a Tina Chomp deck? Let's find out how this goes. We'll see if we can win another game. Can anyone trade me anything? Well, all right, here we go. Time to get salty. What is that? Huh. Well, that's... Oh, I was about to unfriend him. <laughs> I was like, is he actually on my friends list? Very right, good. All right, here we go. I'm going to play some... We're going to do one more game in this, and we'll see how it goes. Can we uh, Can we go two and one, or are we going to go one and two? We're up against a, a Guzneg deck. This definitely could be a tough matchup for sure. This could be a tough matchup. If our hand... If our start is as good as last time, we should be chilling. 
Uh, you thought it was quite in deaf? I liked it. Okay, we won the coin flip. Uh, we want to go first with the deck. Or second, sorry, so we can go turn one horror house. This is a pretty good hand. Easy win, hopefully. Yo, Andy, what's going on? Are you one in one? Yeah, we're currently one in one right now. What is a card that I can trade for a Secretization V? Um, I don't know. Zashi, I don't know Secretization's price, to be honest with you. Hmm. If he whips an energy here, that's good. One thing he can do is he can Linear attack my Ditto. I think I want to get two Dittos down because he can Linear one of the Dittos and then he can... Um, yeah, he can Linear attack a Ditto here, which is actually really bad. Because um, then he can knock me out with Calamitous Slash on my Trevnor. So we actually got to be really careful here. Plus he has GG End. This might actually be a really tough matchup, not going to lie. Yo, nice handy. Crobat has gone up a lot recently. It's probably gonna keep going up. Those were cool days. Maxi, I get why they banned it because of Kabutops and Amistar. I don't know if it needed the ban though, to be honest. All right, energy whiff, energy whiff, energy whiff, energy whiff, energy whiff, one time. No, we still have the Crobat. Yeah, I did Boofly. We were just talking about that earlier. You started? What do you mean I started? Alright. Please don't get energy. Ah, dude. Dang it. He's just digging. He has one to Dene. Maybe he's prized. Nope. To be fair, that is one less out he has now to drawing out of the, uh, the Trevnor lock, which is at least something. How many draw sports do they play? They have five cards that can draw them out of the deck. They have a Faba, too. Which could annoy us if they get rid of my energy. I don't know. This matchup doesn't seem good, though. I don't... I, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. This could be tough. We have to hope they whiff an energy here. Recently pulled a, a rainbow ADP and I traded for like 15 packs. I think... I don't know if it's worth 15, but I mean, that was a decent deal. Just don't bench Ditto. Play Ditto next turn. Hold on a minute. I got the energy rip. Okay. Uh, I don't really like drawing the Via Seeker there because we kind of need it for Ace Trainer. All right, we'll go Ace, double energy. We'll put basic energies on. We have Garb in the deck. I think we want to use Garb here so they can't do Roxy with Execute. Alright, so we don't want to put Ditto down this turn. So we'll get Voltorb here. Oh, but they couldn't... Oh, we only have one Voltorb. Shit. The one thing that scares me here... Wait, I didn't get rid of a draw supporter. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, I'm throwing... Bruh, I was so focused on my... Oh my gosh, I just threw the game. <laughs> Dude, no. I forgot to get rid of a draw supporter. Oh my, guys. Alright, I just threw the game. I just threw the game so hard. I... Oh my gosh, miss play guys, miss to the play. Well, we lost. Um I guess horror house. Dude, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. Well, that's probably game. I just threw the game so hard right there. 
Oh, maybe not. Yo, uh, ooh, we're still in it. We're still in it. Oh my gosh. We have a chance. <laughs> okay. We still have a chance. That Crobat top deck was huge. We're never punished. Dang it, dude. Why am I so bad? All right. I apologize for the misplay, guys. All right. So we're going to comp search here. I think we want to get Ditto, right? We don't have three energy in the discard yet. We need a lot here. I think we've lost, though, guys. I don't know what I can do now. We can still attach energy, though. It's not over. We need so much here. We need a Floatstone, a Trevnoir. We need Floatstone, Trevnoir, energy. We still have Dedenne in the deck, so it's not over yet. Dude. I apologize for the misplay. It is what it is. Now I already used Horror House Admiral. I'm so bad. Oh. Let's go. Never punished. All right. This is good. We might have a chance. They can still GGN me off the board, though, if they get lucky. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I think we've lost. <laughs> I just make too many misplays. All right. Uh... It's all good though. We're still we're still chilling. We're never punished though, guys. We're never punished. Uh, we'll get the uh, ditto down here. All right. Uh, compressor again, I guess. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, focus up. Uh, we get rid of Electrode. Get rid of... Get rid of N. What else? Ditto. Floatstone, one time. Bro. No Floatstone. I'll take the Ultra Ball and discard it, and then we can save the Field Blower in case of, like, a Choice Band. Oh, let's go. We got it. All right. Holy crap. I sh should not be... I should not be in this position right now. I should not be in... I should not be in this position. We can still take with Gengar Mimikyu, which is pretty good. One time... No! We don't get even Energy or Supporter. All right. Here we go. So next turn, we want to go Garboder if we can. Aw, oh, bro. They got the mail. Oh, let's go. That's a good card. All right, don't have a supporter. Nice. Okay. If they knock out Ditto, it's what I wanted them to do. They don't hit this. How many tools do they play? They have two choice bands. I think I'll still play this to get rid of that floatstone, right? We want to slow them down a little bit. How many Do we have Guzma? We do. Okay, so what we can do here... We can Night Watch again, take a knockout. We'll save the hand, and then next turn we want to try to get a Guzma, maybe. Alright, we might have got them here. We might have got them. We'll see. We just have to hope that they don't draw well. Crobat's a good prize. Wob's okay. Uh, no Quagmire. I'm going to be playing Azul uh, some other day for the OPOP -OP match. Oh, did he draw a mar- did he draw any- Oh, he drew a Roxy! He drew a Roxy! Oh, he drew an Ultra Ball. Rip. What can he get here? He can get an N. He can get me to three. He hasn't used Coco yet, so he could Coco Prism here, which is pretty bad. Dang it, the top deck. No. <laughs> the top deck. Uh, we could still- Do we have an N in our discard? We do, right? Yeah, we can still N him to three. I mean, we still have, like, Gengar Mimikyu we can use to attack, I guess. Oh, he doesn't get anything. Huge if true. All right. Uh, we'll get rid of the Voltorb and the Wob here, I think. So we have two Via Seekers. So we need to get a Via Seeker here. 
So we can try to end him. Nope. Honestly, we could honestly, we could probably knock him out Poltergeist here and win the game. But I think we just hit him with the, we have to just try to get him to one card and then just hit it with Nightwatch. Um, sure. It's going to be the play. We'll get to Dene. We'll thin out by one card, and then we'll do Crobat. Did it? We did get the energy. We could try to go for the win here. I don't know if it's worth it, though. <laughs> I don't know his hand. We'll have four cards left if we do this. How many floatstones do we have left? So, have two. All right, we need to get the Via Seeger here. We got it, all right. Should I just try to go for the win? I could go for the win here, but... Oh, I don't know if I want to do that, though. How many do we need? 50, 100, 150, 200. Hmm. I'm just gonna go for the... I'm just gonna go for the Nightwatch lock. I'm not gonna bother... I'm not gonna bother with the, uh... With the poltergeist. I don't know if I had game or not. I hope I didn't have game there. Alright. We're just gonna have to go for the night watch lock. So I I just I think just playing it safe is fine. Look at that, we get rid of a computer search. We're big chillin'. I don't even think he can win this turn. Ah, oh, he still had a Via Seeker? Dude. Well, we still have one Via Seeker, right? I think. I think we still have Via Seeker. So we can still knock this out along the like, ah, uh, we'll see. Way off. Okay, see, I'm gliding over the Poltergeist play. All right, let's see. Can he win this turn? I don't think it's possible. Does he have a great catcher still? He still has a great catcher. I think it's in his deck, right? Yeah, he can still great catcher with a Tina Chomp combo with Coco. He needs a lot here to win the game, though. He needs a lot if he wants to knock out this Gengar Mimikyu. Okay, Violent Appetite. That's fine. It does buy him an extra turn, I guess, but it is what it is. Hmm. All right, what else can we do here? We could try to end him again. Yeah, there's a Tina Chomp. Well, they only play one to Dene, right? They have one to Dene, one bat. So they have no way to keep digging through the deck to find the game here. Like, they would need an insane hand to pull up a win with Coco. And they have to keep their hand pretty large, too, right? We'll see what happens. This is definitely going to be a close game. They still have, we have one V Seeker left. They still have a decent amount of supporters, though. This is going to be a very close game. All right, nice. And a three-card hand, too. So we can GGM me still. I think we just night watch him, right? No, pray. Night watch and pray. Oh, those are bad. No. If that one card in the hand is a draw supporter, I'm going to re so hard. Don't tell me I nightwashed two dead cards away that I didn't need to hit. Do you have Gus? I think so, yeah. I 
I can't remember if one via seeker is prized or not. Okay. Let's go. Another dub, another day. Let's go. All right, GG's to Togekiss. GG's. Okay. Two and one, not bad. And we're doing a little bit better. We're getting there. We're two and one. All right, nice. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> cool. Okay, let's go. We're doing decent. We're doing decent. GG needs two Psy, one energy. But he had double dragon though, Tushar, right? Like, he could have went great catcher on my uh, Gengar Mimikyu there and won the game. That's what I was scared of happening. He still had a great catcher in the deck, and he could have great catcher on my Gengar Mimikyu and won. Alright, we're chilling. What are we chilling? Alright. Uh, we'll do some ladder games, I guess, while we wait, right? We'll play some ladder here. Here, let's play. Let's play the Senta Scorch Gar uh, M board deck. I wanted to maybe play like a Senta Scorch Dexus tournament. I think that was a bad call overall, but I was maybe gonna play the Senta Scorch Dex. We're gonna play some Senti here. We'll see how we do. What do you play on? Uh, I play on MacBook for the time being until I get a PC built. Nice, nice. Okay. Well, this is uh, definitely a hand, that's for sure. If we, have, if we can draw a Frangie here, this hand's actually not too bad. We'll see how things go. Alright, we're not doing bad though. 2-1 and one in the tournament with the uh, Trevnor Cheese. With the Trevnor Cheese. The one thing about that game is my opponent was fighting their supports after our night watch, so maybe our night watch luck will be better and better in a matchup that might be a bit more difficult. Like that was good talk. Oh, but they have fire too. I think we still do. I think we do heat factory still. I think we still want to go heat factory here. Ultra Ball away, Field Blower Blacksmith. Yep, this is a uh, Senti Boar. And I actually like this deck quite a bit. I don't think it's very good and competitive, but I think it's very fun to play. Big Snake. Yes, sir. The big. Well, actually, it's a Senti. It's actually a, a, a Millipede. Or, it's a Centipede because Senti Scorch, right? It's a Senti. It's a Centipede. Electrode, Heat Energy, Big Snake. That could be fun. I mean, really, like, any VMAX Electrode is, like, a good deck, right? Alright. Let's see if we can knock out this Hound Doom. The Break Start is a little scary, but we have N, though, right? And they can't one-shot us, so it's not too big of a deal. We're big chillin'. Okay, this is not that great of a, not the most amazing expanded deck. I do have an expanded video coming out tomorrow though, guys, so keep your eye out for that. I do have an expanded video dropping tomorrow. Actually, let's look at standings real. I'm gonna look at standings real quick, see where I am. Revnoir, where is it? Someone brought more Peko Trevnor. That's funny. One one. So before this next round, I was currently 39th. Alright, so I'm probably I'm two and one now. I'm probably like eh, we'll see. We'll see. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream though, guys. This is my first time streaming a, I think a tournament in a while since Limitless. Bro, it's got a catcher and he gets heads. What are you talking about? All 
All right. Uh, you did do a bit of damage there. I don't like that. How much HP? We got two. Oh, 260. It's not too bad, actually. I'll play the float there in case we rip the... In case we have Emperor Rare Candy, which we did. But we might get it here. All right, we can Heat Factory. No. No, nah, we didn't get it. We have a chance, though. We can go... I'll get rid of... Um... We'll get rid of Via Seeker, because everything in this hand we can sequence properly. Alright, well, Crobat. Oh, wait, do we have it? No, we don't. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. We whiffed the rare candy Embor. Um... Uh, we'll give him the Lele. My first Haggies went 4-3. and three. What were you playing, Andy? Yeah, the Hexaturians are always fun. They're always fun. It's more, the Hexaturians, I find, are a little bit more casual than, like... The one I'm in right now, the Limitless Tourney, it's a little bit more, you know... There's, like, good players in here. But the Hexer Turnies, they're a little bit more casual. They still have, you know, good players and good decks, but it's a little bit more casual than, like, this tournament we're in. Nice, Grant. Nice. Good luck, man. Good luck. Good luck. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the live stream, make sure to leave a like on the stream. I would appreciate it. All right. M we're going to draw an Embor here. Watch. Chorus? Okay, that's actually... Okay, here's what we can do. We can attach. We can go... Chor we could... I guess we could... No, Ultra Ball won't work. We won't have enough cards. So we'll go Chorus for 10. This should get us Embor Rare Candy. See? It got us Rare Candy Embor. This deck post ban? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's not really like my main deck, though. Okay, uh, we should live the turn two from that, uh, Cinderace, which is good. So we'll go here. So the color of your- that's actually a decent idea, Cole. But some colors are, like, really glitchy, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. How much is that? 40, 80, 120, 160, 190. Two, okay, we're 10 off. We need another energy. No, we don't. No, we do. We can knock out the Cinderace next turn, too, baby. That's pretty good. All right, we're in a pretty good spot. Oh, we could get rigged by Victini, bro. No. The Victini cheese. Oh, I forgot about that. We didn't get another Sun Scorch. Yo, what's going on, Daniel? How you doing? Right now, we are playing in a uh, tournament right now with Trev Noir Electrode Pulse Band. We're 2 and 1 right now. We're currently 2 and 1. See, I can never really get into monsters, so, uh, Admiral. Planning on uh, doing a meme deck I made three minutes ago before the tournament starts. Ooh, the Gus. Knocks a Crobat. That's actually really good that he gusted that. I'm still scared of this Victini, though. One of my favorite decks is Little Dark Fury. Yo, that deck is OP. Little Dark Fury deck needs a ban. Oh, yeah. So, watch. I change colors. So, right now we have it on light purple. So, if I were to change it to this blue color, watch what happens. Never mind. Oh, there we go. You see, it's like glitch at the top there. See how there's like a bit of it on the top? It's weird. I mean, I can I can put it on red right now. We are playing a fire deck. Might as well put it on red. All right, we're in a pretty good spot here. Mm, we can knock out the Cinderace. I think we still can win this. Oh, we got tons of energy. All right, this should be pretty much game over. 270... 300. Do we have any energy in the discard? No. Okay. So we go Chorus.
Yeah, of course. Next deck you should play is Obscure Eternatus. Maybe one day. The Houndoom V deck. Yeah, the Houndoom, Houndoom V is pretty cool. I might I might build a, a Houndoom V Charizard deck soon. This should be a knockout, right? Okay, I did not need 9 energy. Why did I put 9? I, I just miscounted. All right, well. They have one Welder. They haven't played a Blacksmith yet. So uh, we're probably going to get body by Victini here. But then we just via Seeker send a Scorch to the Sobble. Yo, why did I put 9 energy on? I, don't, I think no matter what, we would have been knocked out by the Victini regardless of how much energy we had. Oh, my record right now is 2-1. and one. We are 2-1 and one right now with the post-ban Trevnor deck. We're 2-1. and one. See, I like the red background, but the problem with the red background is it's too, um... Oh, we win. Never mind. All right, we have game. Unless this guy plays Turbo Patch. Uh, the nice thing about this red background, it doesn't complement well with YouTube, but it's decent. My favorite color, though, is always going to be this, this light purple one. This is, like, my favorite color to use. Yeah, the red looks sick. My first black and white deck was Embor Reshiram. I remember that deck. My first black and white deck, I think, was Zekiel's. Red is goop. Red's cool. All right, we got game. They do it. Volk's actually scary. That one, that can knock me on one hit. All right, next round is up. All right, cool. We're in the next round here. Let's see what we're up against. Alright, playing against Zork Rat. Sorry, Zork. We need to get Garboder down ASAP. Do they have a Wobbuffet? They do not. Alright. Are we against another Eradicator? Alright, let's just get this over with. See, Senny Garb, I like it when you get when it gets set up. It's pretty cool. How close are we getting these Dark's Blaze packs? Ooh, one more win. Alright, here we go. Next round is up. We're up against a Zork Radicate deck. How are we gonna do here? I honestly don't know. I don't even... Do I have a friends of spot open? Nope. I gotta unfriend somebody. Uh, sorry, Lima136, if you're uh, watching the stream. No oh, shoot. Okay, he sent me the friend request. Here we go. Zork Rats. My opponent has... They have Marnie. Two Marnie, one N, one Chorus, one Juniper. They have a Koga's Trap. That actually could be annoying. That could be annoying. All right, here we go. We'll see how we do. Yeah, we do. Two and one. Will we go two? I think if we go two and two, we don't make top cut. How much longer are you streaming? I don't know. I've been. How long has the stream been? We'll have to see how much it's been. All right, let's go. Ah, uh, they're making me. They're gonna make me go first. Oh my god. There we go. That's the only problem with this mic stand I have. The mic's in the way. I can't type that easily. Okay. This hand's fine, but it's okay. Sushi master. Okay. Um. This is fine. We can still turn two of them. We have an Ace Trainer in hand. That's good. So we just dumped two energy here, I think. We got like two energy... Two energy Juniper. Alright, how many... How many uh, things do I have in my deck? Oh, we prized rather Trevnor. We have two stretchers, so okay, that's fine. We can't deny knocked out turn one. So we'll put the float here. We are weak to dark, so that is a huge problem. Alright, the ditto's huge. Alright, perfect. Um. Hmm. We're gonna pass. We're just gonna leave our hand how it is. How many rounds are there? Well, there's about, like, I think 100 and something people in here. Like, 110 or something. So, not too many rounds. Probably, like, 6 or 7. You're against Greninja Zork. What are you playing, gaming? Are you in the tournament, too? Are you in the LOS tourney? 
How could they knock me out this turn? They could they could Lele Guzma knock out my Ditto, which means we can't go Garboder. That could be pretty bad. They have seven energies for Zoark. I mean, this matchup is going to be tough, right? At the end of the day, they're, we're still weak to Dark. The draw support masters indeed, DJ. DK Quagmire. We could still lose this game. This game is still very much losable. It's all good, great. We'll still be streaming by then. All right, let's change the color. We gotta change it to purple because we're playing a purple deck. That was a bad top deck. We could Guzma, Whorehouse maybe? No, okay. We're gonna quick ball away the Guzma. I might just dead a change again. Yeah, I might just dead a change again. Okay, we need to get an Ultra Ball here. There we go. Get the Electrode. So we need to find a Stretcher here to go Trevnor. Can we get a Stretcher off? Oh, no, we, we can shuffle it in the deck, I guess. Ah, oh, bro, no. I don't want any of those cards. Dang it, we gotta fail. That would have been a good dead A change. Alright, here we go. We gotta get quite a few things. Hmm. Okay, that's not what we're looking for. Not gonna lie, the execute meaning in our hand is a little sus. I guess we just go boom to the ditto. And we just ace trainer and hope to get the uh hope to get the Trevnor Crowback combo. We need a stretcher, a floatstone, and a garboder garbotoxin here. But we need a garbotoxin before we do transform. So we're just gonna ace trainer and hope that it gives us a good hand. Let's go. That is a good hand. That is a very good hand. Okay. We can still easily lose this game, but because we're going to be able to get the Garboder down, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, we'll get rid of the energy, I guess. Not what I would have liked to have discarded. It sucks we didn't get the uh, egg in the discard, but we're still big chilling. There we go. We can get rid of the egg now. Get rid of egg and Voltorb. We'll drop the garb. And here we go. Night watch time, boys. Night watch time. Ooh. Oh, huge dis. Oh, let's go. Those are huge night watch cards. They do have one field blower and they haven't played it yet. I'm going to thin out the deck a little bit. We have one float stone left. We're going to take two prizes here, though. All right, here we go. Trevnor Cheese. Mm, okay, that's fine. We need to get a float so we can keep up the guard block. Wob is okay. We could use that against, against Zork. Energy's good. Okay, they do have one. They don't play a Fabian, never mind. What, I, I'm almost looking for like a Guzma play. No, they topped like the Marnie, bro. No. Uh. Oh, no. Well, they still can use Zork. They could hit. They could hit the gas here and knock me out. Bro, that sucks. They actually got the Marnie. Yeah, Kadabra won't be printed ever again. It sucks they made the Alakazam, the new V Alakazam, so bad. Not gonna lie. No! Bro, what? They got the gas? Oh, no. Oh, that sucks so much, bro. They actually got the Zor. Oh, no. 
We can just night watch them, I guess. We can pale moon GX and hope they don't have an energy in their hand. That might have to be our play. We might just have to go for the pale moon GX here. How many energy do we have left? We have enough to attack with Gengar Mimikyu still. No, we have an energy prize. Oh, this sucks so much. So we have to Pale Moon and hope they don't have a way to draw cards and get another energy. That's like literally my only play I can do here. This this feels so bad. Oh man, how did they get that off of Marnie? Oh, Marnie is broken. All right, well, we have to do Pale Moon and hope they don't have a good hand. I can't do anything else or else we just lose. Yeah, I think we've lost. If they have an energy, we just lose. And they, if they knock me out, we lose. Okay. Nice. That's good. That's good. We still need to knock this out, though. No, there's a work. Ugh, stop getting these orcs down. I'd rather have them knock me out, though. Okay. We've been... Given a chance. Let's go. Energy? Dang it. We don't... We need to poltergeist. We definitely just via Seeker Guzma here. How many via Seekers do we have left? Oh, we still have all our via Seekers. Okay, so we can just knock out the Zorua here. And then we hope they don't get an energy off the top deck to knock us out. And then we just win. If we get the energy off the prizes here, this is big too. Okay. Energy, and we can maybe just win by knocking out Ditto with Poltergeist. Okay. So we can still win this even if they knock me out here. Don't draw anything, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Don't draw anything. Uh, let's go. We've probably won the game. And that's game. Via Seeker should be in the deck, right? Yeah, we got a ton of them. All right, GG, let's go. <laughs> what the heck? Yo, that was intense, not gonna lie. Holy. Holy, bro. My opponent's using Detonate to attack. Yo, dang. Okay, let's go. We're three and one. Not bad. Not bad. All right, cool. Let's go, bro. What the heck? Yo, that was nuts. We needed that Pale Moon to stick. <laughs> In Generation 4, we got an Abra card, which had an attack for two second energy, which basically said, put out Kazam on top of your deck and Abra to evolve it. That could be decent. All right, those seven rounds. So we are currently... So we could we can bubble if we get five and two or we can at least like maybe get close to the bottom if we go five and two all right not bad not by it at all yeah it sucks about that yuri geller lawsuit though because Alakazam is literally one of the most popular Pokemon. And it's also one of the best Pokemon ever in terms of, like, damage and stuff. So next up is round five, round six, round six. So we have to win three more games to make top cut. Let's see where we are in standings after that last game we just did against Togekiss. We're th we were so we're third we're in 30th place after that game we did against those kids. I think I'll play this tournament out and see how well we can do. Cincino Bunnelby is that control? 
Yeah, it is control. This guy's got Crawd on his control deck. So who's in first? So there's a Dragapult Garboder 3-0 right now. You lost one? Yeah, I lost the first game against Dragapult Garboder. Alright, we're big chillin'. Here, I'll change the song for you guys. I'm sure you guys are probably sick of whatever I was playing here. Put on Hoenn Gym Leader Remix. Who exactly who needs my low tick? So there's there is a Zoark <laughs> Snorlax deck that's also 3 0 right now, which is really scary. Because they do have a lot of things they can do. We gotta just watch out for dark. I wish, honestly, we could probably use one weakness policy in this deck. I wouldn't mind maybe playing a weakness policy. I would not plan I would not mind a weakness policy being in here. Yeah, I can definitely see I can honestly just see Trevnor just getting his flat out banned. I mean Ace Trainer Ace Trainer's only purpose is to be in Trevnor. Like Ace Trainer is not that bad of a card. In my opinion. But yeah. That was decent though. We're chilling. So top eight right now. In first place is Dragapult Garboder. Um Dragapult Garb is in first place. But they don't play a Wobbuffet, so if we do run into this person, we can still beat them if they don't get the Garboder out. Before we get our uh, little electro combo going. In well, what the go back. In second place is Zork Snorlax. Third place is another Snorlax V Max deck. Uh, this one, yeah, just Snorlax box with like Galarian Rapidash and stuff. And in fourth place is another Dragapult Garboder deck. I'm, is this the one that I played against? Yeah, it is. So in fourth place is the Dragapult Garboder deck I lost into the first round. They have the Wobbuffet. And then in fifth place is Pika. Sixth is Tablemon with Eggrow. Seventh is a Mewtwo and Mew Toolbox deck. This one is using... Um, this one's a D-Valley build, right? Yeah, it's a D-Valley build. It's got Lopuff, Tina Chomp. They have a Jirachi too, so they, they have a Jirachi X, so we actually can't hit them for weakness with Trevnor. But if we get Garboder in play, it's just pretty much Kappa. Well, it's funny, you could play the deck with zero energy. Ah, uh, because Ham Chain. Yeah, that was a meme. You play Dragon Balls against Azul? I'm not going to say what I'm going to be playing against uh, Azul yet, Tom, but I, I have planned out what decks I'm bringing against him. And then in 8th place is Stefan Ivanov with another Dragapult deck, Dragapult Garb deck. And this one also plays Wobbuffet. Alright, cool. Zork actually doesn't sound like a bad play to this tournament, just because you can beat these Draga Garb decks. Maybe next time, next tournament, maybe I'll stream it again and we'll play, Draga, we'll play a Zork deck. I haven't played against Azul yet. Yeah, that's uh, that's for the uh, OPOP League uh, match for next week. Or, yeah, this week. I'll be playing against him probably this weekend. So, there's a Mew Box deck. Well, we could probably beat Mew Box. We get a Garboder up, we just probably win. Um, we just don't manage to Dene. There is no control deck in the top eight. I like to see that. The highest placing control deck is in 13th place, but it's a Pyro or Break deck, though. So it's not really a control -y deck as much as it is just a... It's just like a Decidueye deck, but in Expanded. Okay, cool. Alright. That's not bad. Has the next round started? It does not. Alright, I will be right back, guys. I am going to go get another drink, because I am thirsty, and I want to keep giving myself energy. So I will be right back in just a moment.
All right, we're back. Stefan is a scary one. Yeah, the Dragapult Garbodor matchup seems kind of difficult, not gonna lie. Free Melly. Zork with a Turntis. Yeah, there's a Zork with a Turntis deck somewhere, I think, in top 20. He's not wearing pants? Nah, bro, I am. What do you mean? I'm always wearing pants. No, I'm just, I'm just wearing khakis. It's probably just because the lighting looks weird. Keep hydrated, indeed. He got the juice roll hoodie. Oh, yeah, this juice hoodie. It is uh, probably my favorite, not my favorite hoodie I have, but it is a Juice World V-Lone hoodie. It's from his last album, Death Race for Love. It is my, uh, I don't know, I, I'm a bit of a hype beast. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am a bit of a hype beast. I'm trying to move my chair up a bit closer, but I had to get one of these dumb mat things to put on the rug so the chair can go on it. But it's like stuck on the bottom of the mat. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit of a hype beast. I'm not going to lie. I am a bit of a hype beast. All perks out. Does anyone know if there's a way to put energy on a Pokemon like VMAX? Like Max Elixir? I mean, Turbo Patch, Elixir, Dark Patch, Metal Saucer, Aqua Patch. They're all options. I just made some Mountain Dew. I just made a Mountain Dew. Just, you know, give us a little bit of energy. I still have to record tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video, guys. I guess I'll give you a sneak peek at what tomorrow's video is, I guess. Um, tomorrow's video is going to be on this wacky deck. Yes, you are looking at a flying Pikachu ADP deck. That is what tomorrow's video is going to be. I said that I have to do like one or two more games of the deck. I can do that after I'm recording. We're, we're big chilling. We'll see how we do in this tournament. I'm hoping at least if I don't like if I do do like if I lose a few more games, then I'm hoping that I can at least perform. Um, I'm hoping to at least make like top 30. I'll be pretty happy with because actually there's a decent amount of people in this tournament. So we'll see. Death race. No, I meant, I meant the uh, I meant the album before Legends Never Die. <laughs> Actually, if you guys want to see all my hype beast stuff, I mean, I guess I can show you. I don't really want to like. I'm not a flexer though. I'm not trying to like flex anything. Um, if you guys want to see what like hype beast clothes I have, I, I mean, I'm glad to show you. But I don't. I'm not gonna just be like, oh, look at all these clothes I got. How I'm so rich. No, I'm not rich, but you know, I'm not gonna flex. I'm just not. I'm not that type of guy to flex. Do you have any Latin American roots? I'm from Argentina. Love your work. Not really. No, I'm Italian, Martin. Flying ADP. Yeah, indeed, Flying ADP. That's a good name for the deck, actually, Tom. Flying ADP. Flying ADP, indeed. I want to try something. So, another thing, too, with this little, like, LED thing is I can put on, like, face. So watch. I can go like this. The colors, like, change. But watch. Ready? Wait till it goes to the blue. See? Look, it glitches. See the top there? See, it glitch. See? That's why, like, it's a little bit problematic. This, still, this looks kind of cool, though. The little fading thing. I like the fading lights. Do you guys like the fading lights? I can keep this on if you want. It's just you got to mind that little, like, weird glitch thing. It is an interesting deck, indeed. What about... There's, like, this jump one. But this one, like... Yeah, this is, like, LED strobe lights, bro. That gives you, like, a seizure. Fade is just better. What do you guys think? Fade or should I just leave it on like purple? What do you guys think? How much time do we have left in the round? Eight minutes? Seven minutes? I'm laying with my dog? Yo, nice. L LDF is six foot nine. I'm actually a very small person, Savon. I am not tall at all. I'm literally like five four five five. How do I enter attorney? What on PDCGO? You just go to events. I'm in a tournament right now uh, that's hosted up by Limitless on, like, this Limitless site. So I'm not, like, in an actual like, PCO run tourney. Jordan 1s are the best shoe of all time. Yeah, Jordans are cool. I personally, I'm not a Jordans guy. I, do, I personally like just wearing, like, NMDs and stuff. I'm not really... I'm not really into, like, high-top Jordans. I've never been a fan of wearing high-top shoes. I don't think they look good on me. 
Like personally, I, I just don't. The only high top shoe I'd ever wear is probably be Travis Scott's, but I'm not I'm not a high top shoe guy. I just like wearing like Ultra Boost, NMDs, just Vans, just like normal like running shoes. I'm not really a not a Jordan's guy. The changing one is the best. If you click jump and click fast mobile times, the lights go crazy. Really? All right, let's see. Fast, quick. Oh, you're right. Yeah, they do go crazy though. Record? Oh, right now I'm uh, I'm three and one with the Trevnor uh, deck. I'm three and one with Trevnor. Okay, we're gonna put it back on fade though. We're gonna put it back on fade. We'll put it on slow too. I like it on slow. That's pretty cool though. Just how many of you guys actually have LED lights too? Because it's a vibe. Like LED. I know it's like a Gen Z TikTok thing to get LED lights in your room, but I got them literally not because I wanted LED to my room for like the aesthetic. They are nice at night. Really, I just wanted it to have, like, a nice background for my YouTube videos. That's why I ended up getting these LED lights. Because I just think it looks cool having a nice background. But these LED lights were a pain to set. I'll tell you right now, when I was setting these up, um, because it's hard to, like, I, I was struggling to get them to, like, curve. Because I wanted to put them up there, like, see this, like, second, like, roof on the top of my roof? I wanted to put them up there. That would have been my spot, but unfortunately, I couldn't. I couldn't bend them. You're not supposed to bend them. You have to like loop them. This you have to loop them to get them to turn a corner, or go down. So yeah, but I think it still looked pretty good overall. So I just put them on my window. Plus, I don't want to put my. They they damage the wall too. I don't want to put them on my wall. Or limitless? What do you mean, Andy? What do you mean? All right, yo, it's next round started. He does not. Three minutes left, so the next round is gonna start very, very soon. I would grind the ladder a little bit more for you guys, but I've already finished the ladder. I don't really like playing the ladder when I'm already done it. Even though, actually, we're getting close to opening these two Dark of Blaze packs. Maybe there is something to it. I don't know how to fix that weird color glitch though with the blue, like getting removed at the top. I don't know how to fix that. But it still looks nice. Whatever it is, what it is. Green screen LDF. You have them. They do be lit. Nice. A wireless LED light ball in my room. I can change colors with my phone. Well, I accidentally bought LED lights here. There's like this LED strip thing I bought here. Uh, Philips LED lights, I think they're called. Um, but I didn't buy the actual set themselves. I just bought like an extension strip. So I actually have to get the actual set itself, which is $100. So yeah, no thanks. I'm trying to spend $100 on LED lights. So I have these strips here that do nothing. But maybe for like Christmas, I'll like, I'll get, I'll get the actual set and then I'll have more LED lights. But, uh, yeah. You still two and one? Uh, no, we are three and one right now, actually, Darth. Three and one. I could put my record on screen, I guess, but it is what it is. All right, about two, about three minutes left in the round. Trippy colors. Yeah, we got it on fade. I guess, actually, we'll put the record on screen, I guess. I don't know. Uh, where is it? Text. All right, we are three and one. Select font. Okay, I want to put on the font that I use for my videos. What was it called again? Oh, I can't remember what the font is that I always use. No! Yeah, I forgot about I forgot what, the, what I forgot what the font font is called that I use in all my videos for my thumbnails. Huh. All right, I guess we're using a basic font then. Three and one. Wait, where's the text? Okay, the text is not appearing on the screen. I don't know why not. I always use whatever text, whatever.
Okay, for some reason the text is not appearing on screen, so I guess we're not having uh, my score on screen because it won't appear. It was Zoark something I forgot. Yeah, yeah, I played against a Zoark Radicate deck. Are you coming to verse Tricky Gym? Well, maybe. For the OPOP OP League, maybe. Depends if uh, the next round I'm going to be against Tricky Gym or not. I'm guaranteed to play against every YouTuber in the OPOP OP League at least once. Yeah, I don't miss a round. Yeah. Inexpensive adapter to work. Yeah, it's stupid. But I guess that's what I get for buying the wrong set. But it is what it is. I'm not trying to buy an expensive... Like, I'm fine with just buying these cheap ones that, like, plug into the wall. Because once these expire, I can just re-put them. Sorry, late to the party. Do you, have a, do you have to play soon, or could you show the deck list? I can pop the deck list up real quick. We're just waiting for the next round to start. It's going to start any second now, I'm pretty sure. This is the list I'm playing for today's Limitless Tournament. It's a post-ban format, so there's no shame in a Ranguru Milotic or Sableye. I've been using your code a lot at Card Cabin. How much do you get from the sponsorship? I can't. I don't really want to disclose what I get from uh, Card Cabin, I guess, but uh, I do appreciate it that you've been using my code, man. I do appreciate it. Everyone who has ever shopped at Card Cabin has used my discount code. I appreciate y'all, and hopefully you guys maybe can use my code more when Viv Voltage comes out. I feel like he's not. Yeah, I'm, I don't. Well, I'm. I guess I, I'm, it's not really like a bad thing if I say what I do get in return from Card Cabin. I just don't want to. It's kind of, uh, you know, I just keep it kind of disclosed. You know what I mean? All right, next round should be starting any second now. Round five, here we go. Round five, what are we going to be up against? We will find out. And if we win. I'm laying with my dog. Nice sobble. Alright, here we go. We're up against Sad Life. What's he playing? Oh, it's another Dragapult deck. And he has the Wobbuffet. Oh no, guys. This might be the end of our uh This might be the end of our streak. This might be the end of our this might be it for our run, guys. Dragapult Garboder. Well it's not it for our run, but it's like It's like the end of our uh It'll be the end of our uh chance of making top eight because it's like this is hard to beat they have a lot they have four research two n and a chorus and via seeker okay they have a lot here they have two leles oh man this is gonna be tough yeah i don't know about this one guys i think we got to take an l here this matchup doesn't seem very good because they have the wob effect i feel like this matchup is winnable if they didn't have wob it's illegal no it's not illegal like, I don't think I'm going to get in trouble if I say what I get from Card Cabin for as my return type of thing, but I just don't really want to say it. All right, here we go. Um, we're up against Dragon Garb. They have Wobbuffet. Yeah, Gar Garb Order is better than Muff. Okay, we won the coin flip. All right, we'll go second. So we can try to turn one Horror House and pray they don't get a good setup here. All right, we have a decent starting hand. We got If they start with Wobbuffet, I'm shook. How many floats do they have? They have four floats. Ah, they have eight chances of getting a Wob out of the deck. If they like, if they just go Wob in the active spot, we probably just lose unless we go Guzma Horror House. That's our only chance. Okay, Trubbish Start is good. That's not a Garb or a Wob. We just gotta hope they don't go into a wob here. Like, if their start's bad, we could literally just win by going Horror House. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Please don't have a treasure. Let's go. Oh, we have a chance of winning this. Um, so we're gonna Ultra Ball here. I'm gonna straight up get the Gengar Mimic here. Oh, actually, I should've gotten Crobat. I'm throwing. No, I'm not. Don't worry, I'm not throwing, guys. I apologize. <laughs> uh. Uh, we should maybe cut the Via Seeker round, but we're going to play our entire hand down here. Okay, busted. Let's go.
We stumped three energies here. All right, here we go. We're going to Horror House some, and then next turn, we should have game. So they can't play anything from their hand. So we should just what? Oh, four and one. What do you know about that? What do you know? What do you know? Four and one. Let's go. I, I feel so dirty right now, but let's go. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. Yo, let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Four and one. You love to see it. Yo, top eight, who? Yo, let me just let my boy Savon or Xerneas get wrecked. Know that I am now four and one. Oh, we got lucky. I was just scared of Wobbuffet. I was just scared of Wobbuffet. Oh, you're already in stream, Savon. <laughs> I just messaged you on Discord, but you are. But there's a stream today. Let's go, yo. I'm just too hype after that win. I am too hype, bro. We're four and one right now, bro. I just don't care if I'm hype. We're four and one. What does that ditto do? So the ditto. The idea of this deck is you go. You Electro to the Ditto, and then you evolve. You use Ditto's ability, which allows you to turn into Trevnor. So you're technically building up your Trevnor through Ditto. Yo, this deck is busted if it sets up. Yo, let's go. We might actually make top eight. That's hilarious. We'll see. I'm not going to jinx it. N not going to jinx it, but we are hyped right now, chat. We are hyped with the post ban trevnor deck let's go on i think the thing that's given us is luck is the fact that we have two reverse hollow crobat or two regular crobats and two regular gengars that's how we're winning kappa nah let's go though we're doing pretty good though i'm liking this i'm liking this let's go get on the hype train indeed Use the attacker. He could have trubbished me, but at the same time, we, you either win with Poltergeist, but we just find a float. Our hand was so good, too. So, like, there was no way we weren't going to win there. You know, it's all good, Admiral. I like being happy, too. Let's go. Four and one. You'll love to see it. Now, I'm glad I played this deck, Xerneas. And here I was saying that I was going to play Senescorge and Garboder. Like, what the heck? All right, we're currently in 16th place right now before our four and one. So, we're probably going to be around probably we're probably gonna be in like 10th place or something let's go yo i'm hyped though still we, we're getting lucky we're hitting matchups we can win but we just don't want to hit the good thing yo glad to hear that ricardo i am glad to hear that man I, I heard Leon Hart's gonna open up an online store selling base set packs. I might actually, I don't know if I'll be able to get them in time, but I'm actually down to buy a few base set packs. So the only problem with him doing that, it's not like it's a good investment because those base set packs are probably gonna go down in value anyways. Yeah, the ditto I'm playing. Why do you need the ditto? No, you can't electro to Trevnor. You electro to the ditto and then you go Trevnor. Now, luckily I found out you can actually use ditto and Trevnor the same turn you play the ditto down. I didn't think you could do that. How many people in the tourney? Uh, ba 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 boom. Let's see. There is 103 people in the tournament right now. Well, currently like 100 and a lot of people have dropped though. There's a lot of drops, so there's probably around like maybe like 50 people left in the tournament. 50, maybe 60 people left in the tournament. Because there's a lot of drops, but in total there was like 103 people in the tournament. Might have to check Electro, but maybe it can't attach the GX cards. It can't. Yeah, it can't. You have to test the Ditto. What are your thoughts on Colossal VMAX? I think it's a pretty good card. It's top five best cards in the set. By the way, guys, there's going to be a new uh, article on Card Cabin soon. It's going to be the top five cards in Vivid Voltage. I'll keep your eye out for that. Winning in for sure. Oh, you're right, Alex. If we win the next game, we might make top eight. That's hype. This is the best you've done a live stream tourney? Oh, for sure. Way better than the Limitless tourneys, for sure. And luckily, I don't have any plans tonight. I was just texting my friend to see if he was doing anything tonight. He's working, so I probably have time to stream the Hexer tourney. So it looks like we're going to be having two streams today.
You like Gengar cheese though. Oh, not bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah, we attached the Ditto, and then we used Ditto's ability to go into uh, Trevnor. If you guys haven't left a like on the stream yet, uh, what are you guys doing? Leave a like, please. Thank you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to force you. But if you guys are enjoying the stream and the hype uh, and the hype record we got so far, 4-1, uh, leave a like on the stream. It would be appreciated. Yeah, IRL decks are expensive. That's the only problem with playing IRL. Is they are indeed expensive. That's one reason why I don't play IRL anymore. Is because it is too expensive. I used to play in real life a while back. But now I don't. What do you think of Vivid Voltage theme decks? I think they're good. By the way, don't worry guys. I will have a theme deck review of both Vivid Voltage decks up. Uh, I'm probably gonna do the um, I'm gonna do the Charizard one on Friday, and then Saturday will be whatever the other one is. I forget what the other one is, but I'll have a uh, theme deck reviews of all the Viv Voltage decks um, when they come out. More streams equals better. I do want to start streaming on Twitch. I haven't set up a Twitch thing yet. And I don't have Streamlabs. I use just normal OBS because I'm too lazy. You have an A music, yo, nice gaming. Keep that up. Keep it up. But yeah, I might stream again tonight and do the hex return. I don't know what I'm going to play yet, though. I don't know what I'm going to play yet. Maybe I'll play, um... I don't know. Gengar is pretty broken. You go second, gets a lot of donks. Yeah, pretty good example right there. Once we get into top eight, if... Assuming we get into top eight, it's not guaranteed we're getting into top eight. We do get a top eight. Uh, we are going to be best two out of three. So things could be a bit more different in a best two out of three scenario. Because the thing is, when it's just one game, it's easier to just kind of get it over with. But it, best two out of three things are a bit different. Uh, the new Zarud V looks good, Alan, for Grass Box. Until the stream got 60 likes, not got no notification you were live. Oh yeah, YouTube's still broken, pirate. I don't know. YouTube's just sus. Yeah, there's a pandemic. It's been four months since I last owned PTJO because I kind of got bored and I'm starting to kind of want you to play again. Hey man, it's I think PTJO is still worth playing. I know standard isn't very good right now in terms of like fun, but it's like it's still like PTJO is still enjoyable. Once you have all the staples, exactly. But the problem is staples rotate out every year. The Dreadnought is much, much better. Huh. Well, we'll be trying both though, don't worry, Mork. We'll be trying both theme decks. I think the best thing about the Charizard V theme deck though is you get those Charizards, and that Charizard's actually a good card. Just played someone using sandwich ban, so I guess free win. Is that in... Wait, are you in the tournament, Ben? Are you in the Limitless Tourney, or are you on the ladder? Because ex... Reset Stamp is only banned in Expanded, and you can't... You can't even play an Expanded deck with, with Reset Stamp anyways. If you're in the Limitless Tourney against the one, you do get a free win. Because we're in the... We're in a post ban format, but you can't use Stamp in the deck anyways, so it's like, I don't get that. I do need to get it. So top eight is still chilling. There's a Mewtwo deck in first place right now. There's Drampa, or there's Garbodor, Dragapult. There's, you know, there's still an Eggrow. Tablemon is still an egg. Tablemon has an Eggrow deck in eighth place right now. So we gotta watch out for that. Eggrow could be a scary matchup because they they just win with Vileplume. We don't really have a way to beat Vileplume, do we? Let me let me do something. Else. Best way to get confidence back? I don't know, man. Just keep getting hyped. I saw our Pokemon is not the best Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Expanded is so much... <laughs> yeah, I I think Expanded is pretty fun. Even though there are some annoying decks in Expanded, it is still a fun format. 
It is still a fun format. The road decks are the best ones, honestly. That's what I like about PCO coming out with rare combos. That's what I yeah, that's what I enjoy about Pokemon too, is like just playing rogues. You can also use Magneton too for that combo too. Magneton Leon can be pretty good. Hmm. Trying to see if anyone's streaming the Limitless Tourney. Yeah, there's a few people streaming the Limitless Tourney. On Twitch, anyways. Okay. Interesting. November 13th is when... Yeah, next week is literally when the set releases. Well, next Thursday, anyways, because it comes out daily around PCGO. For codes, anyways. They come in the shop on the Friday. Beat Vileplume with quick Garbotoxin setup? Nice. Yeah, Vileplume is winnable, but it is still annoying to play against. It's the only thing. But it's winnable. Tis winnable. Hmm. Trying to look at these standings here. See if there's anyone else in this tournament. Yeah, so far, Tablemon is in 8th place with Vileplume. That's the only other YouTuber I can see right now in this tournament. I don't know who else is in here. PCO will probably the same. It, the set will come out on the, the Thursday for the codes. They've always been doing that. That's one of the nice things I like about PCGO is they, the set releases one day early on the game. I want to try Legacy, but it's expensive. Yeah, Legacy prices have gone up quite a bit recently. What time tonight are you going to stream? I don't know yet, Sticks. I don't even know if I'm 100% going to be streaming tonight, though. That's the other thing. We'll see. Well, the tournament should be starting. I think the Hexer tournament starts at like 6, right? So maybe like six or something is when I'll be streaming. We'll see. I might stream on Twitch too, if I can get that set up in time. Well, honestly, if I might not even be able to, if I, if for some reason I actually do make it pretty far in this tournament, I might not even have enough time to make it to Hegster tonight. You never know. That's the, that's the funny thing. Maybe I won't have enough time to make it to Hegster. Which would be kind of funny, but we'll see. We will see. Worst matchup with post ban Trevnor? I mm, I want to say Aggro could be tough because if they get that Vileplume play that's immune to basics, we can't really beat them. The only way we can beat those decks is we have to go with that Gengar Mimikyu cheese. Dragapult Garboder is tough too because if they use Wobbuffet or they get a Garb down before we get the lock off, we're also in trouble. Those, I think, are your worst matchups, Alan. Definitely those two decks. I do think that, um... Uh, Dark Box could be tough, too. I think Turbo Dark is a little tough to beat, too. I think a lot of this deck does come down to whether or not you can get that quick lock off, though. But it also comes down to whether or not they play a lot of draw supporters. Like, some decks you can beat, some decks you can't. Any deck that is immune to basics or tag team you can't beat. So, I mean, any deck maybe that plays Pyroar you struggle against. Any uh, deck ideas for Vivid Voltage? Oh, tons, ABC, tons. There's gonna be tons of Vivid Voltage content, don't you worry. And then we gotta wait until February for the next set. Yeah, a little bit, Admiral, for sure. For sure. There's definitely a bit of a difference now that Shaman has been banned from the format. Did any and Crobat are still a really good combo, though. Not to mention you have, like, Juniper and stuff, too, so. It's not like that. Pardon me, I just burped. 
Apologies for that, guys. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I do notice a bit of a difference. Like, the format, it's still kind of fast because of Corbat to Dene's, like, immense speed. Do you think the Voltage would be the new currency in the market, or is it better to save some Darkest Blaze packs? Uh, no, Viv Voltage will stay the currency max. I mean, Crobat isn't Darkest Blaze. I actually, I don't know about that. Honestly, you might be right about that. Alright, let's play, let's do another game of Sunny Board to pass the time. Um. Yeah, I, I mean, Crobat isn't Darkest Blaze. It could be just, like, um, Broken Bonds. <laughs> Yo, Tyler, what's going on? Why don't you make a Sogolo GX deck with Zacian? I don't know. I don't know if that's really good. Yeah, my Twitch is Old Dark Fury ABC, but I, I haven't streamed on it in, like, I don't even think ever. I don't think I've ever streamed on it. We're up against a water deck. We start with a Crobat and our hand's unplayable. Ah, post ban Trevnor. Yeah, we're against a water deck. We can still beat this if we run them over the Sun Scorch. It's not unwinnable. Is Rose a good investment on TCGO? Eh, it's okay. Rip. This hand sucks. It's not that great of a card. Um, I do think Rose will see more play with Santa Scorch post rotation because once Wilder leaves, Santa Scorch gets a little bit weaker. So I could definitely see that being a thing. So we'll have to see. Can't wait to see how you make Shedinja. Oh, that'll be fun, yeah. I'll be I'll be making as many decks as I can. Ah, this hand sucks, bro. This hand's so bad. We just gotta lay lay for Cynthia and hope for the best. I can't can't play any of my new decks because I've lost confidence in my decks and my ability to <laughs> I mean bro, you you gotta keep confidence, man. You gotta keep the confidence. There are some times where getting bad hands can be discouraging, but you just gotta keep pulling through. I pulled a fifth Crobat. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Yeah, having locked Crobats isn't good. Town Matt, what the heck? Alright, we're not really playing as great of a deck, I guess. Oh, they got Blastoise and Lapras. Okay, if they for some reason don't get a basic here, we have a slight chance of winning. They got a basic. I can't wait for Welder to leave. I honestly think Fire is really good right now because of how overpowered they have made Metal. Personally, I think Metal is a little bit... It's a little too ridiculous how powerful Metal is right now. Like, you, you give Metal... Or at least Zacian. Zacian is literally like... Once we get, like, Aegislash and we get the new uh, Special Energy card... Like, Metal becomes ridiculously overpowered. Almost to the point where it's like... Like, why would they make Metal so overpowered? Like, I don't know. Metal... I think fire is a necessary evil right now. Ah, this hand sucks. Uh... But yeah, I think that metal is necessary right now to have in the format. Just because of how good... Uh, met just cause, Or fire story is good because it's just metal's too good right now. I think they've made metal just too good. She just pumped the test. Yo, that's not good. Are you going to put up a Christmas tree? Oh, not in my room. No, there's no room. And there ain't no room. Hmm. All right. How we doing here? Oh, hey, they I was not paying attention. So we draw fire energy here. We can knock out this war turtle, which is really good. So hopefully we can draw an energy here. Come on, energy one time. Uh, we have a lot of boost energy. Nice, let's go. September 2021. Yeah, Welder's leaving next year. But yeah, I personally think Welder's fine right now because just they've made metal way too overpowered right now. Articuno. Articuno. Articuno makes me go re... All right, I'm a dummy. I'm bad at this game. I'm bad. I'm a dummy. <sighs> well, that's uh, that's funny.
All right, let's see if they knock me out here. If they don't knock me out, I think we'll be fine. We can go like Center Scorch, Center Scorch, and then use another VMAX or use Tapu Lele. You're right, Savon. But who the heck plays water? He's playing Rare Kenny Blast twice. I actually was also going to maybe play Archie's twice to this tournament. I'm glad I didn't now because Wobbuffet and Garboder seem to be very popular. You're still streaming? Yeah, we're currently four and run right now. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well in the uh, tournament right now. Kind of wish we maybe Floatstone the active. All right, if we get a Rare Candy Embor here, we're going to be in a really good spot because we get a knockout. I could have Guzma this up, I guess. Ah, whatever. Now nah, we got the Embor. We're all good. We're never punished. We got the Embor anyways. Is that the knockout? Yeah, it is. Oh, I am, Chris. I am. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, we have our other fire crystal. I'm gonna get rid of the crystal because I wanna I wanna keep the sun scorch in my hand. Nah, right, maybe we could have gotten rid of it. We have stretcher still. Yeah, I guess we could have gotten rid of it. We just gotta go five energy here. Now maybe we could have kept the crystal and got rid of the Scorch because we just took a knockout and we got it. Yeah, I, 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 we could have probably gotten rid of the... Could have kept the crystal. And uh, we'll see if it makes a difference. <laughs> nice, Admiral. Just come back from the chi chiropractor. Hopefully everything went well, Elliot. It's expanded banlist. No, it's not. We're in, I'm, in a, uh, I'm in a tournament right now run by uh, Limitless. Okay, so they might get a knockout. They actually can't one-shot me with Slash. So they have to go like Blastoise GX or something. That is two sticks. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Uh, what can they do? Bubble launcher does not knock me out unless they have six energy. I think we've. I think we've won this. Oh, they can paralyze me. Okay, that's fine. We can just do this. I think this is game, right? We ace Rolla. And we should have... Yeah, we have game, right? With the giant hearth. All right, GG's to my opponent's crazy water deck. I, I don't know how we even had a chance of winning this game, but I guess here we are. Indeed, I am. <laughs> All right, here we go. Inferno Fandango, all the energy. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Please don't concede. Eight, nine, four hundred and thirty damage. Expanded Peter Rob's not that bad. There's a lot of good fighting types in expanded though to counter it. All right, beautiful win. How much time do we got left? Oh, next round has started. Good timing. All right, we're up against Shaked L here. What's he playing? He hasn't checked in yet. Yo, don't check in. Oh, we're up against a turn of Tiz. No. Oh, no. We're playing against a turn of Zor. Well, that could be the end of our run. I don't know how we beat this. We get completely bodied. It is good, though. They haven't checked in. If they miss check in, maybe we have a chance. Keck W. All right, we gotta, I got to unfriend somebody here. I got to unfriend somebody. I apologize. We're going to get rid of... Actually, do I have a friend spot open? No. Yeah, we have to unfriend somebody. All right, we'll get rid of... Yo, who do I get rid of here? It's too many... I got too many accounts on here. Cruising for life? Yo, I'm, I'm sorry, Cruising for life. I gotta unfriend you. The only name I don't recognize. Yep, they've checked in. Dang it. All right, here we go. Can we beat a... We have to go second. And we have to hope to lock them. They have only eight energy, though. They have no DCs. Okay, they have two dark patch. Okay. Here we go. We'll see if we can beat this deck. I don't know. Turn just doesn't seem very good, though. This might be it, guys. This might be the 4-2 run that we were not wanting. What was his in-game name again? I'm sane. Wait, what? What is it? There we go. He's online. Alright, here we go. This is going to be a tough one. 
This might be an auto loss. This might be an auto loss. We'll see. This might be the 4 and 2 run we didn't need. No. Okay, this is good. We won the coin flip. We make them go second. You need a switch? Yeah, I do. Oh, it's a fan. Alright, this hand's okay. We'll do males before we quick ball. But it turned to still one shots me graded. Like, it didn't matter. Let's see. Oh, shoot. What the f Bro, these sound foam things keep falling off my wall, bro. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm going to leave him there. So we have to hopefully cheese him with Horror House. Yo, the sound foam keeps falling off my wall. Like, what do you mean? Oh, dude, don't get heads. If we get Oh, that gets heads. We can't move and we might be in trouble. All right, laser. Ban it. Ban it, ban it, ban it. Okay, they got another card anyways. Dude, the laser cheese, bro. Oh my gosh, the laser cheese. I'm playing uh, Trevnor. Yo, the laser cheese. And we wake up. Oh, thank God. What do we draw? Another ditto. All right, we'll play these first. All right, good draw, good draw. Battle compressor? All right, good draw, good draw. Hopefully, Admiral. We'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. Actually, we can get rid of, like... We can get a, we can put a Juniper in the discard, I guess. For now, anyways. Depending on how big his hand is, Poltergeist might actually still be a good attack in the late game. Okay, good hand, good hand. Kind of, actually, I, man, we need a ball searching card too. Execute surprise. How much energy do we have in there? Two. We have a. Ah, uh, we'll keep that, I guess. We'll get rid of. Um, what else? That's probably it. Now we'll get rid of Guzma. Yeah, we need to get Garbodor down, though. Stay asleep even if you evolve? Yeah, that's the only problem. Okay, what tools does he play? He plays a Swell. Oh, he has no tools. Okay, so we can just get rid of the Field Blower, then. With this Quick Ball for Voltorb. Okay, so we prize an electrode. Play this. Alright. I'm gonna quick ball here. I'm gonna get a ditto. We need to try to get Garboder down. Alright, here we go. Poltergeist. Or Horror House, whatever it's called. Match might be tough though. All right, here we go. How are you doing? Okay, just a pass. So we have Ace Trainer and Energy. I should have gotten rid of more um more horror energies. That was definitely a misplay on my end. Then we have to hope to get Floatstone Garboder here to really lock him out of the game. Because he has three Crobats. I think we still have a shot of winning this, though. Now imagine that, Admiral. Okay. Does he have any way to disrupt my energy? No. Okay. He has no way to get rid of my energy. Let's put that there. We have the Ace Trainer, maybe into Garbodor or Floatstone. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, do we do Crobat this turn? No, we haven't. Slowstone, there we go. And Nightwatch. We could have went Dead A Change, actually. I don't know. I think it's fine. We got our lockup. That's all that matters. Ah, oh, those are two cards I don't want to see get. Just, ah. All right, here we go. Can we win by locking him here? Let's find out. He doesn't have to turn his V yet. He gave a sad face. Yo, I didn't even see that. Trevnor, what are you doing? What are you doing, Trevnor? How could you betray me? Okay, still can't play any abilities, so there's still that. Yeah, this still feels like a bad matchup, though. I don't know. We definitely Ace Trainer him again and hope for the best. There's the Eternus. He attached a Crobat, though, I think. So he can't... He can hit me for 140, actually. I think at some point we have to do Guzma. Oh, uh, man. Oh, why didn't I... I should have put more Horror Energies on, because then he couldn't have done that. That I should definitely have misplayed by not playing more Horror Energies there. 100%. One hundred percent. We'll hold the hand. I want. Why well, we could have maybe bench Ditto, I guess. Okay. We have to do Guzma next turn, I think, so we can get out of this poison. Bro, stop putting the Ranger in the deck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, I swear, he's getting so lucky. He's gonna have a supporter in his hand. I bet. No. Oh my goodness, Trevnor, smarten up. What are you doing? Garbiter uh, item lock, or ability locks him. So he plays four crowbats and he can't play any crowbats. We're not hitting very good um, night watches. Like, I guarantee you he has a supporter in his hand because Ranger and Stretcher is not what we want to put back at all. So, not ideal for us. We really got to hope he doesn't have a supporter. Come on, no supporter. I don't want to ace train because I need to get out of this poison. So I gotta hope he doesn't have a supporter here. And then we can Guzma this. He could have a float. He could get field blower also and then go Crobat. We gotta watch out for that too. Come on, stay locked. Come on, Trevnor. Come on, don't have a supporter. Don't have it. Don't have it. Oh. Okay, nice. No supporter. He'll love to see it. I guess we can't Ace Trainer him anymore, actually. We definitely need to get out of this poison, because he could easily knock me out like a, a Power Accelerator or something. We have six cards left in the deck. Do we just not get the Zorua? I think we just bring in the Eternatus. I'm more scared of Eternatus VMAX than a Zoark. Because he doesn't have his ability. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit this. Alright, don't top deck anything, please. I beg of you not to top deck anything. Okay. Oh, that's still bad. <laughs> How many V-Seekers do we have left? We're out of V-Seeker. Oh, shoot. So we just gotta go for it. Oh, uh, if he draws an energy here, though, this could be bad. This might be bad if he draws an energy here. He has so many outs to knock me out here still. He has down four energy, though. He only has eight energy. Okay, nice. Yo, this is intense. He can still retreat. We have no V-Seekers left. So that's a rip.
I think I should have brought in the dark cry guys honestly instead of bringing in the uh, but he can always hide behind it So maybe it wouldn't have made a difference. No He drew a via seeker <laughs> He is down half his energy though, and he has no ability. So if he whips one of his energy here, we should be good. We can still win with Poltergeist, I think. All right, what's the play? Okay, he got the energy. That's fine. I think we still win with Poltergeist. I think we're okay. Oh my gosh, what a stressful game. All right, what's he doing? He takes 20 damage, he'll have 30 HP left. So we just need one trainer in his hand. And he gets three prizes here. We'll see what happens. No, he's playing his hand down. He could, if he knocks me out with Crobat, I think I just lose. Probably. Well, maybe not, actually. He's still, still ability locked. If only if we had one Guzma left in the deck, I think we'd have a chance of winning this. Like, a better chance of winning. If we had one Guzma left, we'd probably win. Yeah, he's just playing his hand down. Please don't have another Dark Patch. Okay, good. But that still puts a trainer in his hand. Alright, no matter what, that's that. Okay. Next game. Oh, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Whew. What a game. How did we beat that? That dude, I am I am impressed we managed to beat this deck. I am impressed. Let's go. Bro, this is nuts. I, I don't know, man. That was a tough game for sure. That was a good game, though. GG's. GG's. All right. We are currently 5-1. and one. We're 5-1. and one. We might actually make top 8. What the heck? If it has a tool attached, abilities don't work. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, we got him. Let's go. Big dubs. Big dubs. This deck is dirty, though. Gengar Mimikyu, I'm not gonna lie. Gengar Mimikyu has been the literal MVP of this deck. Hands down. Honestly, I think if he had a... Uh... I think if he ever had a uh, an Eternatus VMAX in play, we probably would have lost. There's no way we can take that down. Like, we like The only way we could have beat it is we get lucky with Poltergeist. But other than that, yeah, that, that matchup, that was a tough one. That was a lucky win, not gonna lie. 5-1 uh, and one right now, David. We are 5-1. and one. The opponent was kind, kind of bricked. Yeah, exactly. There's no ties. Hmm. Yo, top eight hype though. We might actually make it. I just got back into Pokemon. Yo, welcome back. All right. So <laughs> if we lose this next game. We might bubble under top 8. If we win this next game, we might make top 8. We'll see. 5 and 2, there's a very slim chance. I might barely bubble. So I either win this, make top 8, or I bubble and I might not make top 8. We'll see how it goes. What's happening now, LDF? I was out for a bit. Uh, we are currently 5 and 1 with Trevnor right now in this limitless tourney. <laughs> Put some respect on my GLDF. Yo, what's going on, ADVGYM? Haven't seen you in a while, actually, on Twitter or anything. How you doing, man? I'm gonna go by. We'll look forward to your next... Yo, appreciate it, Tom. Peace out, man. Thanks for the donation, too, by the way, man. Have a good day. All right, we're chilling. How are we right now? We are... We're in top eight before the five and one. So currently, we are in top eight right now. 
So we're four and one. Okay, hold on. Let me just message my boy Xerneas here. Four one zero oh, in top eight. All right, we're we're big vibing. We're vibing in the Ritz car. <sighs> I'm gonna go buy oh, over there. Two in a turn just turn. Yeah, exactly. He only played eight energy too. If he had more energy, he probably would have been screwed. I'm playing Trevnoir Electrode. This deck is busted. It's all good, Tom. Okay, so here's the thing. If I lose this next game, I am I'm currently in eighth place right now before I before that match. So four and one, I'm in eighth place. Now I'm five and one, so I'm probably guaranteed top five right now. So if I do lose this next game, I have a higher chance of making top eight without winning so there's actually a good chance i still make top eight even if i lose this next game because i've been on a win streak right You let it ID this round? Nah. I'm not gonna I'm still not gonna ID, right? Could double V help this deck? No, double V is not very good. Because you're only gonna be using one electrode per game, local. That's the only thing, right? Because if they knock out Trevnor, you can't use Electrode again, because your opponent will have five prizes. But we're vibing. Why not Trevnor my look? Because my look tick is banned in this format. ID if you are allowed. I don't know if I'm going to go for that, Alex. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to win. If my opponent wants ID and we're guaranteed top eight both, maybe. Yeah, I should have played more energy. But we had that We had that one uh, whorehouse turn. Right, we had that one whorehouse turn. Ah, uh, we're chilling. <coughs> Eighth place. So the rest of the people in top 8, there's two Dragapult Garbs, one Pika, one Mewtwo, one Zork, Snorlax, Tablemon with an Eggrow deck, another Pika deck. So two Pikas, two Draga Garbs, and then me in 8th place right now with my Trev, Trevin and Dusnord deck. But this is before the 5 and one that I got, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, what the heck? Someone who's 4 and one right now dropped, and he's playing the Snorlax deck. Yo, what the heck? He must be busy. Now this tournament's uh, experimenting the bands. Does Electro work for Vs? It does. It does. Doubles dope in Mewbox. Mm -hmm. I don't, how is Mewbox doing right now? Let's see where Mewbox is right now in the standings. Uh, Mewbox. So the Mewbox before this next round I just played is in 20th place right now. Oh, but they dropped. Never mind. So I guess there is no Mew Box that high, so no Mew Box guarantee top eight. All right, we might end up making top eight, folks. We'll see how it goes. Five and one with Trevnor Cheese. Hmm. I right, see what the limitless Discord saying. So how? Let me look at standings. Am I the highest placing five and or five and one right? Four and one. No. 
I have 59.00% right now, but now that I have, I have five points, it'll be close. It'll be close if I make top eight or not. It'll definitely be close. Yo, Gilly, what's going on? Oof, they didn't need ban anything from Eggrow. Nope, Eggrow did not get banned. There is an Eggrow in top eight. Tablemon is playing it. Unless Tablemon loses the next two rounds, then I guess he can't make top eight. Yeah, Eggrow is really good. That's why I want to play Sunscorch, but... No can goo. Maybe one Aerodactyl. Nah, it's not very good in here, Admiral. That Mewtwo box. The Mew box deck. Yeah, I can pop that up here real quick. I actually gotta go... I gotta use the bathroom, so... Hold on. I'll find the Mew box deck. And I'll open up... Uh, I'll open up Windows here. Wait, what? Oh, I gotta remember that. Derp. Alright. It's not the whole deck. This is the best I can show you. <laughs> There's not enough room. There's like 20 million cards in here. Alright. I'll pop this up here and I will be right back. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. I go to the bathroom.
All right, we back. I'm gonna exit out of this causing some computer lag. Holy, all right. So we can go boom, boom. All right, we're back. All right, has the next round started yet? Four minutes left. Nope, next round has not started. All right, but we're chilling though. I've been streaming for three hours. Jeez, bro, chill. I don't know, local. You're just never able to use the double. Unless you can, like, manly build it up, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, um... Alright, still about four minutes left till the next round starts, so... We have a bit of time. Bit of time to kill. We be chillin'. Yeah, the new Lugia looks cool. I'm definitely excited to play around with some of the new cards. I mean, I'm definitely excited to play around with the new cards. But yeah, my first video I want to maybe do for the first deck is gonna be a Pika V Max deck, right? That's what I want to play first. It could be fun. Could be a good time. I think Double V is good for Trevnar. And I don't know, local man. I don't know. It's like, how do you ever power it up in time, though? You know, how do you ever power it up in time? Like, I think Gengar Mimikyu is a better attacker because you can sometimes use Gengar Mimikyu. You can sometimes use Gengar Mimikyu to, um, you know, finish the game off. Like, Gengar Mimikyu is not that bad of an attacker in Expanded. That's her thing, too. There's another expanded tournament next week. Yo, maybe I'll play this deck again. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know what I want to hit the most on this next match. Like, the Egg Rail Vileplume deck, if we run to the table, man, that could be a little tough. But I don't know if he's... I don't know if he's 5-1 or not. But, like, I have a game playing against Egg Rail. We use Garboder and Wobbuffet. Like, if we Gengar Mimikyu and then get the uh, Garboder down, we're chilling. Honestly, I wouldn't mind maybe playing a Trubbish in here, too, just for that Garboder. Like, I, a Trubbish would not be a bad option, but then I guess the Ditto's useless. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the new Garboder looks good. I mean, a deck running 6 energy, 3 energy. Yeah, it's just not going to work. You can't use Electrode again, so... Double is just not worth it, man. I think... It, like, if you play double, you'd have to play more energy. And at that point, it's just not worth it. Like, the double is just not needed. Alright, it's about a minute left. We're almost in the uh, round seven here, folks. We're almost at round seven. For Vivage, do expanded. Yeah, oh, for sure. The amazing rare decks with like Ho-Oh could be really cool. We'll see though. We'll see. Barbarical with Lugia? I don't even know what that does. Oh, he's five and one? Ooh. Might be paired against Tablemon. Reset stamp surprise points. <laughs> Yo, imagine. Well, I will see if we go top eight, Gilly. We'll see. Just saying it's possible. I'm not saying it's any good. Yeah, it's true. Alright, gotta keep moving my chair up here. I just fell off my chair. What the heck fell? I don't know. Whatever. All right, I think the next round started. Let's see. Timeout. Ooh, the next round started. Not yet. 
It's funny, if I get table monitor, my friends list here, I don't have to add him for the OPOP OP league. <laughs> Alright. We'll see how things go. I think we're gonna be able to get table mod next. How much is Plasma Deoxys EX? Uh, Deoxys isn't that easy. There's, there's a promo version that's pretty cheap. The promo version is probably like a pack. Thunderous, I think, is a promo too. It's not that expensive to build that deck. Should not be too expensive at all. I still gotta record my video for tomorrow after this. Holy, good thing I've already, like, finished most of it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I stream the Hexer tournament tonight. I might stream it, I might not. We'll see how things go. At this point, might not make it. Alright, we're against... We're not against Tablemon. We're against... Luigi DiMarco. We're up against another Zoark deck. We're against Zoark Snorlax. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Um, who are we unfriending now? I gotta unfriend somebody. Um, uh, man, I hate unfriending people, man. It sucks, but it's what you gotta do. I should unfriend this Get Wrecked guy. Actually, wait, isn't that your other account? I might have done friend that anyways. Um, I well, sorry, I cuppered, but I need that friend list open. All right, here we go. So we get Zormax. How are we looking? He has foul play, Zork. He could use Nightwatch against me. He only has four energy, though. He has four triples. He only plays three draw supporters. Okay. So, I actually think there's a lot of value here out of using Garboder again. Well, obviously, Garboder we need to use. So, we'll see how things go. Here we go, guys. Can we make it to top eight? So, we need to go second here, right? We have to go second. We have to get the turn one horror house. We have to get Garboder down. We have to get a perfect setup. Let's see how this goes, guys. Can we make it to top eight? Or will we crumble and fall? I think we're guaranteed, like, top ten at least. So, at least, like, even if we don't make top eight, we're still doing well. Let's go. We won the coin flip. All right, nice. You're going second. Love to see it. Okay. This hand's not bad, actually. Oh, we can do a lot of this. Yeah, we can do a lot with this hand, actually. We can do a lot. Ooh, a sort of Wudo start. Not good, especially when we start with Trevnor here. That's actually a really bad card to have. So we have to go Ditto, Electrode, Gengar. Oh, but we can't bench Dedenny or Crobat. Oh, that's not good. Oh, and he gets another basic rip. He only has four energy outs, though, so we'll see how this goes. He has three special charge, though. He has two blowers. I don't know. The best thing about this matchup is he does only have three draw supporters, so... He plays two research and one chorus, so there's still a good chance we can still lock him pretty well here. Let's go egg. We can put a basic in the discard too. Ah, so, oh, we don't have Juniper, bro. He's got the Enim. That's not good. We can get like, I guess like Voltorb. I don't know. I don't know if we have the bench space. Like, I, we just can't bench much here. I don't know. This might have to be an L, guys. That Sudo Widow is really bad for us right now. So we want to get Ditto here. I guess we could use Wobbuffet. Yeah, you know, we should probably use Wobbuffet here. It's kind of too late for that, I guess. Maybe I should use Wobbuffet. That might have been a misplay. Starting with this Trevnor, though, is really, really bad. We got the N. Not having Juniper is really bad, too. Okay, we did get the Wob. So we can go into the Wob here, which I think we have to do. Or do I want to just Horror House? I guess we can remove a Pokemon with Electrode, right? So we can still, like, Ultra Ball here. Um, pray he doesn't gust me too. That's another thing. But we're going to Whorehouse him, right? So we can still get Ditto. Then we can Electrode to the Ditto. And then we can free up a bench spot for Crobat. Okay, that actually works out fine. Okay. And that works out fine. Yeah, we'll see, Tom. We'll see how this goes. 
Running Honchcrow. Imagine if you played Honchcrow. Oh, that was a bad top deck. We don't have energy, though, actually. Shoot. Maybe I misplayed. Yeah, I think I misplayed. Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Yeah, I misplayed because I should have... Oh, why did I do that? Oh, my gosh. I think I just lose now. Well... Yeah, the Sid of Widow is really bad. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this is not good. I might just pass. Yeah, I screwed up. I... Dang it! Oh my gosh. Maybe maybe we didn't need the ditto then. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I apologize for the misplay. I think... I don't know. This game was probably hard to win anyways, but if we knock out the Sid of Widow, we've been big chilling. That's their first blow. They have how many blowers? Two. Yeah, I think we gotta take an L here, guys. I don't know about this. It's not the end of the world, though. If he knocks out the Gengar Mimikyu, we'll still be okay. What I don't want is a Guzma. He only plays one Guzma, though. He has two Guzmas. He only has three VS Seekers, though, so... That's good. I think we... I, I don't know if we can win this, though. It's not looking good. <laughs> If he if he knocks out if he knocks out electrode or something we're screwed. He doesn't have the re okay he doesn't have the Guzman nice okay cool. But I don't know I just want to get the Garboder down so we can stop this. I, if only we had Juniper Juniper being prized actually really stinks because just drawing seven cards is just really good. I think we got to take an L here we'll see we can still make it to top eight though we can still make top eight if we lose this. I think it's good, Mentis. Yo, SC and third bear gaming. What's going on? Okay, he knocks out the Gengar. I don't really care about that. We can still lock him here, actually. But at any moment he knocks out Trevnar, we just lose. So we, it's kind of just all in here at this point. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, it's just all in. What do we draw? Mm, perfect. So we can end him to one, actually, in Nightwatch, and that seems really good. Might need a Dene, though. Okay, let's just go Kaboom. So wait, why did I not bring in the Ditto? Why did I bring in the Trevnor? What am I doing? I can't... Oh, my God. I am so bad at this game. <laughs> I should have brought in the Ditto. Why did I bring in the Trevnor? What am I doing? Okay, I... Dude, I suck at this game. I'm making so many misplays, guys. I apologize. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're, we're fine, I guess. Dang it, I'm making too many misplays. We need to get Flowstone here. I think, we'll, I think we're okay for now. We can still get the lock off. I'm making some dumb misplays. I apologize. How many floats do we have? We have three. I don't know why I started with Trevor. That was such a stupid, dumb... I'm dumb, man. All right, it's all good. We're not getting punished just yet. We still have some things we can do. Please don't mess this up. I'm trying not to. I don't know if we push it against the Wob, though. I don't know. So we need tr we need to get a perfect hand here. If we can get Garb and Floatstone and an energy, that's perfect. I doubt we're going to get it, though. We just need an energy, at least. And then we might be okay if we get an energy, right? Okay, we didn't get the Garb and Float. We did get an energy, though. I think we still lose this. I think I just threw this game really hard, guys. I apologize. I don't know what I'm doing. I probably just I probably just threw this game too hard. Oh boy. He'll be in top deck mode at least, right? And he doesn't play that many draw supporters, so it might not be over. Do we get rid of a field blower? Yeah, I guess getting rid of one blower is not bad. It's just one card I want to draw. We can Ace Trainer him next turn and try to get Garb off. Oh, let's go. That was such a big card to put back in the deck. So he gets three extra cards this turn. Maybe. We'll see if he gets anything. He's only got two energy in the deck, too. Okay, come on. Dead cards. One time. I 
I regret benching Wob. I don't know. I think I just do this game too hard. Okay, nice. Does he have anything? If he has energy, he just wins. He got the energy, bro? What do you mean? Okay, that's kind of sad. <laughs> this is actually not terrible, though. We can still do a few things. We can... We have 30 HP left. We need to get Garbodor down this turn. I thought he had Knockout there. Uh, I'll take the Ultra Ball. We can Ultra Ball Garb and then Ace Trainer and hope to get the Float Stone. But then he's just not in top deck mode. I, oh, I don't know what to do. So we got Boulder. Or we just leave him in top deck mode. I think we just leave him in top deck mode. I think we have to leave him in top deck mode here. I'm just going to leave him in top deck mode. He doesn't... Yeah, that was a good card. See, he doesn't have to work. I can leave him with one card with an Ace Trainer or I can leave him in top... I think I just leave him in top deck mode here and hope for the best. I think I, I, think I threw this game really hard, but we'll see. I still have a chance... Of winning this it's not over yet what what sky top looks like the dead oh. no <laughs> oh my goodness he top decks at the Dene and he gets the last triple in his deck off the Dene changed to six never freaking lucky oh my gosh Oh my gosh. That is so sus. Oh my gosh. Trevnor, how could you, bro? What the freak? <laughs> oh no, bro. Oh my gosh. We can still make top eight. Bro. I I'm done. I think I just threw that, bro. What the freak, bro? Yo, I'm just baffled he hit it at any. He literally hit the gas. He top decks the Dene off a of zero card hand, and he gets his last triple in his deck off of the Dene. Bro, you can't make that up. You cannot make that up. What the freak, bro? Oh, man. All right, five and two. There's still a small chance we can make top eight. We're in seventh place going into this match, so we'll see. We'll see. Yo, bro, what the fr I can't believe he actually hit that, though. That is insanely lucky. Bro, that is... <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is insane. That is insane. I can't believe it, bro. The luck. The luck. Stop looking at your phone. I threw, yeah. I might have threw, but oh my goodness. I can't believe he actually top decked out of that. That was insane. Oh, the dead NA. Well, now we got to hope to make top eight. Yeah, see what I mean, though? Like, now I'm talking to someone on Discord. That's why I'm looking at my phone, Admiral. But it's like, I could have went for the Garboder lock there with Ace Trainer. Uh, assuming I would have found the Float Stone, right? Um, I, maybe I should have done that the whole time. I didn't want to leave him with one card in his hand. Like, I don't trust that luck. It's like, I think just leave him in top deck mode was my best chance. And then try to Garb him next turn. So we hope we get him there. But he just drew a Dedenne. And then he got his last triple energy in his deck. And he still had a good amount of cards in his deck left. So that is some friggin' bad luck. Five and two, Darth. I, 
think like what made that play even more the reason why i like jumped and stuff is because like i literally was saying i'm like should i commit to the play right ace trainer and try to garboder him leave him with one card and pray it's not a supporter or do i just leave him in top deck mode and hope for the best and then next turn we can garboder him because the chances he draws anything useful is very low and then he still draws the dene and then gets the triple off of the dene it's like what yeah, I'm talking to someone. Ephes, I'm talking to uh, my friend here. That's why I'm on my phone. I don't know, Admiral. It's like, I, I don't know. I should have just went for the guard play. That's why I That's why I got overreacted. I was like, I should have went guard boater. I can't believe that. That's, that was hilarious. <laughs> All right, don't worry. We can still make top eight. It's not over yet. We still have a chance of making top eight. We might bubble. We'll find out. So... Uh, hold on. Let me just message Xerneas. Yeah, he had 27 cards in his deck. And he still found the triple energy. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Did I? Could I? I can't watch that back. Could I vend him there? I bought a triumphant pack. Pulled a cell. Yo, Alex, let's go, bro. Did he get a junk arm in the same pack? Yo, nice though. Celebi has gone up a ton recently. I heard it's over 100 packs now. Am I, okay, I'm not, uh, what place? Alright, we'll see how we do. We'll see if we make it to, uh, top, top eight or not. I mean, if not, I mean, I'll take, what, 10th place? It's all good, I'll still take 10th place. 10th place is still pretty good. You know, I'll probably I'll probably be guaranteed like top ten, which is still good for the deck, right? We'll see. Man, that did any top deck though, bro. What the? Fuck? <laughs> oh man. Yo, I'm actually. Oh man, I'm excited though to see where I place. Not gonna lie. All right, I'm watching the clip back now where I hit him with the Night Watch to a zero card hand, and I'm gonna see. So he had 27 cards left. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a God pack, Alex. If you got a Verse Hollow and a Celebi in the same pack, that's not. So I don't think you can get. I think Primes are in the Verse Hollow slots. So I don't think you can get a Junk Arm, Verse Hollow, and a Prime. How does Celebi? It's just. It's hard to get Waylord, and it's just such a good card. All right, I am watching this. All right, I'm watching this back right now. Let's see. So, yeah, he top decks the Dedene. There it is. There's the Dedene. There it is. Bro, what? Yeah, 27 grade. He even wins this for the Snorlax VMAX. He literally Dedene'd into this, his last triple and his last Snorlax. That is the best luck I've ever seen in my life. He literally top decks out of a dead draw. Out of a zero card hand, draws a perfect card. Somehow Dede changes into his last triple and he finds a Snorlax off of that. Without even playing a supporter or a Zoark's trade. I can't believe that. Holy crap, that luck though. Yo, that guy should play the lottery. That is insanely ridiculous. I mean, honestly, I deserve that though for kind of, for misplaying. I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. We, uh... We'll have to see if we make top 8. If we don't make top 8, I'll take this run. This was still a good run. I'll take it. Still a good run. Oh, it updated. You ready, guys? Watch this. I bubble no. <laughs> I bubble ninth place. Yo, what are you talking about? 
Oh no! Yo! Bro, I bubbled ninth place. Well guys, that'll be it for the stream, I guess. We bubbled, that's fine. I'll take ninth place.